Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mike Fedor here with another episode of Blank Your Game, episode 23. Um, that crying child in the background, don't worry about that. None your business. None of your business. <laughs> no. You don't need to know what we do here on Thank You Game. So, um, yeah, my daughter is a little bit upset because the Sounds wife's like trying to put her down. From the backyard. Yeah, no, she's probably crying in the. They left me it, outside. She's crying in the living room. <laughs> crying in the garage in the dark. <laughs> uh, so, anyways, we got another full house again today. We got actually a really stuffed house. We made. Um, good soup and everybody's pretty full. So, soup weather, it's raining here in Southern California. Um, it's getting kind of cold. Winter's coming, that means new games are coming out here real soon. So, since there's not really too many new games that's been come out, or too many of the triple A titles, we should say, yeah. um, we'll have more to talk about that on the next show. You know, but as of right now, we're going to go into what we've been playing and the way we're trying to change this order up with the way we're sitting. It's going to be a little bit different, so Ryan's going to start off. Yeah, Ryan, yeah. what you been playing? Hi, everybody. Ryan, um, Xbox Gamer Tag is Ascended Being. Hey, PlayStation 3 or PSN account is uh, Locomotive 1134. Also on Game Center, Steam, everywhere else. Um, after uh, playing Skyrim, I finally decided to uh, beat the main quest of the game. Really? <laughs> after so long of putting you never it off. Beat it at all? No, I never did. I never actually wow. finished the main quest. And the other night, I was just like, yeah, you know what? I'll go ahead and do this. I finally finished Dawn Guard on the Dawn Guard side, which is the way I always wanted to tell my story. Real quick, because you have it for Xbox and Steam. So which one did you finish it on? Honestly, Xbox, because it's the one I've had the longest and okay. the farthest I'm in. Because um, I almost picked it up on Steam because I was like, maybe I might be able to get like a patch and we'll be able to play it together or something or like, you know, and, mods and it's out there, but I don't know if they work any good for that. And plus I was like, there's a bunch of mods and I wanted to check out some of the modding stuff that they have. That's the place to go if you're actually looking for the mods. That's, you know, that's the one thing I really use that at that Skyrim for is just to mod the hell out of it and see what kind of fun I can do. That's more my playground game, I think. This one is the one where I actually, the Xbox is where I decide to keep the storyline. Yes. Um, finished Dawn Guard, killed the vampires, got a pretty badass bow and arrow where I can uh, kill things with the sun. <laughs> the power of the sun. So that's kind of neat. Um, but then, yeah, I finished up Skyrim, went to, um, I think it's Skaragard, their version of Valhalla, and uh, killed Alduin, so finished up that. Then I uh, jumped on the Borderlands 2. I am impressed. Really? I am very impressed from the first one. It's way better in every aspect. <laughs> and I, it's from interaction with characters. It's the guns. It's the locales. It's everything. This, it's addictive again. I'm, I'm back on the train with it. I love it. It's, I don't know what else to say. It's, it's heaven. It's heaven. Pandera is heaven. And also, finally just got Dishonored in. Nice. And yeah, I found that to also be my new crack. But I think it's only half crack because there's there's certain issues with the game. Yeah, because I know I hit you up and I'm like, hey, you need to check this out, you need to check this out. And you're just like, playing fucking Dishonored. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, all right. We're going to play Dishonored. It's like, it was like Vince. I was telling Vince, I was like, you got to go on my account. You got to download this game and check it out. It was it was actually not sure if you wanted to talk about it on the podcast for what you wanted me to check out. So I was like, oh, but I better let him know that I'm, I need to play Dishonored tonight. <laughs> it, it, I mean, like if I hit you up about something and it's, um, yeah, I'll take one of those. Um, it's mostly because I just... You know, if you want to talk about it on a podcast, cool. I'm, yeah. I'm not assigning you guys homework or anything. No, I, I, and, you know, I don't just, mind if you do. It's it's something kind of interesting, and in that way it'd be like something that we all might have played yeah. together, and we could see how our experiences go with it. Yeah. But Dishonored, you have some gripes about it. Everybody else is sucking its dick fucking really hard, so... It's a good game. I don't want to get past that part. It is a good game. When you actually kind of break your way of playing games, because... Thank you. When you come into it, I'm going to say it feels a lot like Bioshock. It does. Just the world, I think, is what it is. Because it does do a steampunk world called Dunwall, which almost looks like maybe yeah. 18th or 17th century London. 
um, but everything is powered. They've discovered that they can use whale oil as an electric energy source. <laughs> you know what? I was, waiting for, I was waiting for sea shepherds to jump on this right now. It's like, your whole place runs on whale oil? And Dunwall is a whaling city. That's what How they do. How many whales could they have, though? <laughs> Imagine, like, we use, like, an animal to fuel all of our things. That, yeah. That'd be a lot of death. Yeah. And it's funny because you'll see these boats going by, these massive ships that have this giant, like, blue whale hanging on it coming through the area down to the dockyards to get slaughtered and it's the world is kind of interesting to look at but it does feel a lot like bioshock at first until you start incorporating the powers you use in there and then you actually find yes there are multiple ways to take care of everything in this game you can even actually go through the much game like dsx yeah yeah much like deus ex right now where i'm at it doesn't seem to be i'm in a very brightly lit area so i haven't been able to use any shadow effects or on anything but i have used possession to kill somebody i possessed a rat snuck up behind somebody reverted and just sliced their neck that was a lot of fun uh scaled a lot of buildings jumped in through found different ways to get into places through open windows um open sewers um i was explaining to mikey a little bit earlier that there's these areas called walls of light which only the guards seem to be able to pass through. If you try to go pass through it, it'll electrocute anything else. I mean, even rats try to pass it and they get zapped. Hmm. But you can go up and handle it multiple ways. You can just pull the power plug on it, but that gets everybody's attention. They're like, why is that off? What I decided to do is I took a um, little converter and just changed the power source so that it could accept me, but nobody else. Nice. So I jumped on the other side and saw a bunch of guards, so I got their attention by throwing bottles at them. They started running at me, so I ran through the wall of light. They're still come charging, then every time, they all just ran into it and explode. <laughs> Which looks really And neat. the first guy doesn't realize it. And he, yeah, exactly. You know, the second guy doesn't realize it. It takes about it. like four or five of them before the last guy goes, hey, wait, <laughs> I should rethink this. That part, that was kind of neat. That was a little fun just to be able to do that. And the interesting thing is, is that you got to loot a body pretty quick because rats will come out and eat up the bodies. Uh, oh, so even if the rats eat the bodies, they don't leave the loot. The loot is not. I haven't. I didn't see loot on bodies that the rats got to first. Nice. So I think that's how it's playing out because I can't seem to do it. <laughs> and don't be next to a whole bunch of rats because the other side they like live flesh better than dead, and they'll come after you. Rats don't seem like a hard thing, but when there's a bunch of them, they'll fuck you up. But the game has no map. Okay. No map at all. The world is not completely open. Is there, like, open quests that you have to do? Like, you have to go talk to so-and-so and and it's just, like, fuck. Well, Well, what it will do is throw up markers. It'll throw up markers, but you got to go in and manage your own markers so you don't have, like, six markers at a time. Mm -hmm. Trying right. to figure out which one you want to go to. That was the problem with DSX. DSX would have like <clears throat> fucking all these markers going on. Yeah. Excuse me. All these markers. And you're like trying to run to this one. And you're running around and it's like, well, I can't go directly here. Right. I don't know exactly yeah. how to get exactly. here. I have to find a way around it. And then it's like, I'm following this marker now. And I'm like, where's it at? And, and it was a little bit confusing on the maps, but the game looked really good. Yeah. The game, yeah. And. Another thing that helps is one power called dark power, which allows you to see through walls and allow you to actually see people. And when you see people, you can also see their point of view, their range of sight. So you're able to determine where they're looking and what they can see at all times, which helps you a bit more to sneak around them, if that's what you intend to do, obviously. My, I found it's much easier if there's like a lot of guys in one room. It's much easier to sneak up behind all of them and take them down one at a time rather than try and face all of them at once. But that's because I don't, I'm not powered up enough for that yet either. So right now it is a lot of trying to sneak, kill, and cover up a body so they don't get alerted to it and then try and find me. Do you get a fair amount of guns in the game or not really? You know, you get, um, you seem to only, as I've seen, you get one gun and one crossbow, but you can upgrade that. Ooh. You constantly upgrade the system on it. That's basically, I think, how they're dealing with it. I haven't seen any other guns yet, so don't quote me on that. But I've only seen a pistol and a crossbow. And so far, only one sword. It is, seems to be one main sword. How about sound? Is like, you know, if you fire a gun, do a lot of people come by? i got to actually, you know, that's another thing on Dark Power. Dark Power also allows you to see the sounds you're making and the sounds that are going on around you. And it shows an actual wave of how large that sound is. I like it when games do that because yeah. it just puts that much more of a challenge into it. Yeah. Where it's just like, okay, 
you're not going to run and gun through this place. And if you are, then you're going to have a you're going to have to deal yeah, with it. Yeah, yeah, and it's very difficult to deal with that when you decide to go on that fight. At least right now, I'm going to say the game paces itself out pretty well. You the only way you upgrade, you don't level up. You go find runes. Mm-hmm. Like one of the things that this um, being gives you, um, which is called the Outsider, which is the one that decides to give him the powers. It gives you a heart. And you'll start hearing this kind of bumping sound in the background, which is, I have to admit, some of the writing in this is terrible because when he gives it to me, he's like, I am giving you the heart of a living thing. Okay. (laughs) That was kind of wacky, but you'll get a beat and it'll tell you something's nearby, either a rune, which a rune allows you to upgrade your supernatural powers, or it'll tell you bone charms are nearby. Bone charms each have their own different effect. <laughs> bone, charms. bone charms. And you can only wear I got a, a bone charm amount. for yes, you. That's right. I got bone charms for you, baby. But each one has its own different perk. Like you pick up one, one will say like, you know, rats can't smell you. Or you'll have the scent of a rat. So if you're not close to it, they won't attack you. Or, yeah. <laughs> you have the spirit of the rat in Yes. It. Or you, uh, you can use one that actually makes sure that white rats, like a, pl- a whole group of white rats, won't attack you at all. They'll befriend you. They'll attack for you. <laughs> they do the dance for yeah, you, too. Exactly. <laughs> so you, every now and then you'll hear that beat. It'll tell you to pull out the heart, and then the heart will actually show you where the markers are. And will actually you know, just tell you how far away the waypoint is, and it'll tell you which one is what, a rune or a bone charm. Yeah. So then you can go hunt those down. And also, if you pull the trigger, it tells you, like, some secrets about the place, which can help you sneak around. Nice. So, yeah, the game is fun, but, yeah, I, I don't like not having a map. I think that's what really bugs the crap out of me, because I don't have a lot of focal points on where to go. The maps are small. This is not an open world. Mm-hmm. Each mission, it's like I said, it's very much like Bioshock. It opens up one place of the world and allows you to mess around that until your objective is completed. Nice. It but was, yeah, it's fun. All the reviews I read on this that was good. There was just little teeny gripes that like it's just stuff for them to fix in the sequel, not like huge game breaking stuff. Yeah. So the story was kind of cheesy and it is. The story is cheesy. The people are kind of cheesy that you talk to as well. They said the AI craps out sometimes, mm-hmm. like to where they're just staring straight at you and they're not doing anything. Yeah. Or they'll stand in the way of a hallway you're trying to get around. Yeah. They'll be there forever. And that was one other thing that was kind of big. But it's all stuff that just gets fixed in the season. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> but it is a lot of fun. I'll have to. It's a great game. Hey, everybody's been loving it. And they're like, "Oh my god, Dishonored's coming out!" Like they're like hitting their heads against the wall, going nuts <laughs> about it. Like it's amazing. I'm like, dude. <laughs> like the videos I saw look cool, but it's like I'm not that excited. I, I mean, I, I'm like, more impressed that it's a Bethesda game that came out and it's not really buggy or, you know. Yeah, like, buggy and all that. But it is coming from Arcane Studios. Maybe it's because of them. I don't know. Doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Jason, what you been playing? Uh, well, this is Jason. Screen name has the suffering on everything. Let's see, back, I finished Borderlands. I've been playing a good amount of Borderlands, too. Um, since last podcast, I finished the game. Got to level 50, messed around a bit. And uh, I was doing the slots, because the slots is kind of addictive. I've heard about that. I was so hearing like, that, uh, yeah. I don't know what I was doing, but I was playing with these guys, and I was like, oh, all my money's gone. I only have like 100,000 left. And I looked at it closer, and I was like, no, wait, that's a million. How do I get a million dollars? <laughs> so after a while, I had like six, uh, $1.6 million. So I was just throwing it all in the slots. I was like, what else am I going to fucking spend the money on? Yeah. Then I joined some other guy's game, and I just tried to get that jackpot. That's all I wanted to see was right. one jackpot. Yeah. So I joined some other guy's game, and we're messing around in the bar. And he walks up, and he pulls both of them. And they're like, ding, 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 ding. And both of them hit the jackpot. <laughs> and I was like, dude, what the fuck? And I typed in, how? I can't I can't believe you got both of them at the same time. And he's like, bing, he pulls them again. It's just jackpotting over and over. And he had a hack. Uh, so I was like, okay. dang. And so he's like, yeah, take all the weapons you guys want. So we're just pulling the fucking thing, <laughs> taking all these weapons, taking them to the machine, fucking selling them, keeping the good ones. And he's like, yeah, come with me over to the chest. So he takes us to the chest. And he had a hack that, like, took the lock off the chest. You could just open it over and over. And over. <laughs> <laughs> so we're all, 
It's like he's standing there, and we're, three guys are like opening the chest and like looking at it, and then I'll take that, you take that, and we're just like all taking stuff. That's awesome. And like we were all set up, and I was like, dang, it's like two o'clock in the morning. I gotta go to sleep. <laughs> so I stopped playing, and then, then I was like, uh, he kind of mentioned what website, so I went and downloaded the thing so I can do that shit next week. <laughs> So nice, that's what I do nice. most of the time. <laughs> just going out. I just fucking yank on the fucking machine. <laughs> yeah. so, it, I read that the selection of guns is like crazy. It's oh, that's one thing I was gonna talk about. They say there's like a bazillion guns in their ad. There's a bazillion guns in the game. It's not that there's a bazillion guns. There's like maybe a hundred or two hundred different actual guns that have like different attachments. Yeah. Which there's probably like a couple thousand actual differences. It, it, it factors in all the paint jobs, accessories. Like, you could get a handgun. It could be, I could have a full stock, no stock, different scopes, look slightly different, different paint job. Okay. But it also, I think where they get the huge numbers is from all the guns have slightly different stats or slightly different... Ah, uh, so they're having so the same. So you can have two guns that look exactly the same, but they're slightly different stats. So you're so, just looking for, like, the same yeah. gun that has so, the best stats out of all the lucky, On like, the slot machines, one. when you hit the jackpot, it gives you, like, one of, like, 30 guns. They just all have different attributes, different scopes. So basically, I just pull it and pull it, and I'm like, I get, like, five of the same gun, take them to the vending machine, sort through, that one's the best, trash all those, sell the rest. And then I end up weeding out, so I have, like, really good guns. Okay. And then a shitload of money. So you just keep yeah. the best of the... I just ever. keep the best of whatever comes out of the machines. The and then best. Eliminate. Come if you find something better, you go back and eliminate <laughs> yeah. some you might have been holding already. No one's ever going to keep Cause, you Because oh, the guy was like, all I wanted was there's a gun that I... There's a handgun that's infinite bullets. Oh, okay. okay. I love that thing. I had... I forget how I got it originally. But when he was letting us pull the machine, I was like, all I want is a fucking handgun and like the, <laughs> the orange version. Yeah. And I, I, like, finally got it. And it was so badass because it's, like, got a pretty high firing rate. It's the whole barrel spin. Yeah. And it has a big infinite sign on the barrels. Okay. So it's, like, a dual barrel that spins. Huh. But it doesn't reload. You just hold it. It's, like, brr, brr, brr. <laughs> It's, like, a little mini. Yeah, a little mini. That's bad. The gun mm -hmm. I like the most is the shotgun that you can uh, fire, and then when you reload it, you just throw it away, yeah. and it blows up. <laughs> they got pretty cool stuff. They have a rocket launcher that when... You shoot it all out. You waste all the ammo. You she, she because I'm a girl. Right. In the game, you throw it and it bounces. Oh, like I thought a bunny. you were just saying you're a girl. Yeah, it bounces <laughs> like a bunny until it finds somebody and it hits him. And it's huh. got like a bunny on the side of the fucking rocket launcher. <laughs> That's awesome. You have pretty funny ones. Like some of the higher weapons do crazy. They have rocket launchers that when you shoot the the rocket as it's flying through the air, it shoots little teeny rockets Dang, off rockets all out around it. it. Okay. That's what your cousin launch. likes, huh? Which one? Your cousin, the one that shoots the rockets and the little teeny rockets fly yeah, off of it. I don't know. He, You're saying your cousin me. was liking it a lot, and he was just like wanting. He was. was like, no, I don't think he had that one. He probably had the one that shoots. There's one. There's guns shoot all kinds of stuff. But there's like a shotgun. The sh there's a bunch of guns that shoot like a big fan. Mm. There's, pretty, there's pretty crazy guns that shoot all crazy. The ones you don't crazy. really see. The ones you don't really <laughs> see that you saw a lot in the first game were the wave ones. Yeah, the wave guns. I've seen one guy that had one of those, and I think those are a lot more rare. Okay. And yeah, I actually have, have one of those in the, uh, I think, the <clears> PS3 version. Yeah, in the first ours. game, they were common, and I don't really like them because it's like, woo, you yeah, shoot it's just the bullets. a wave. You shoot the bullets, and they go like a wave up and down as they fly. And they can completely it just miss something. Weird. Yeah. <laughs> and I've only seen one guy with one of those guns, but like they have ones that shoot like mortars. Eventually, you get guns that are pretty cool, like it's a fucking assault rifle, but it shoots little teeny rockets yeah. instead of bullets. Oh, um, nice. Hmm. But, uh, yeah, I shoot like crazy on that game. <laughs> and then, like, I meet people and they're like, oh, I don't got no more money. I'm like, here, let's trade. I just give them $10 million. And they're like, oh, my God, I just won the lottery. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm throwing out all these guns. And like, where'd you get all those guns? I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't Not know, that man. many people cheat on the they game. They fell off the back of a truck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Don't ask. You don't need to know. <laughs> Some guy's like, I just want this one gun. I'm like, oh, there it is. Here you go. <laughs> I carry like it's one like of Santa every gun. Yeah, I, carry, <laughs> I carry like one of every gun that people usually like. I'm like, oh, here you go. He's, the way you find Jason in Borderlands too is look for a shady alley, and he's standing down it with a trench coat on, throwing stuff. So what you need? I don't need I got to be shady. I just give the stuff away for free. Just I just throw it. What you need? I got what you need. 
But first, I, I first one's get, free. I couldn't get, okay, so the jackpot thing only gives you weapons. So, like, I still have to try to get shields and the other shit. Okay, yeah. I have the chest slots. thing, I can't figure out how that guy did the chest thing. Like, the cheat thing I got doesn't have the right plug-in oh, to make the chest. the chest constantly open. Because the chest gives you everything. Yeah. Like, so I still have to try to get the good books, or the good class mods. Okay. And the good, like, relics. Okay. And the good shields. Yeah. So... But weapons are covered. So it's it's cheating. But it's uh, fine. <laughs> I still have to work for stuff. I mean, yeah. it's, it's not like you're... It's not multiplayer in terms it's of... Not, yeah, it's, it's not, not versus other people, right? No. It's no. Not, yeah. So yeah, then, in that sense, I can't really... And that's fine. Yeah, right? they can't really yeah, go at you for modding. Certain games, it's, it's, it's kind of fun to, to play like that. Yeah. yeah. My cousins, we were playing it together, and they stopped playing together. We stopped playing one that I passed them. So... I haven't played. I basically play with strangers all the time. <laughs> nice. I play with strangers? Yeah, I play with strangers. Give them free stuff. Candy. Supposedly Giving out free. candy. Supposedly Sexual free. favors. <laughs> First one's free. Let's take gun. it off. Here's a really good gun. Aim me later on. <laughs> Meet me on Omegle. <laughs> Just keep on refreshing but, uh, chat roulette. <laughs> so more like, yeah, I mean, it makes, it's not game breaking, but it makes it kind of fun to where I don't have to worry about fucking going out there and farming stuff. Like, there's still stuff I want that I can't get, like, yeah. certain heads or fucking costumes. Yeah. I, actually, you can farm the costumes. I always hate it when you can't get actually, head. you can farm all that stuff. I it's forgot. terrible. I, I search for head. I am fucking like cheating on the other stuff too. <laughs> <laughs> there's a there's a fucking thing in the cheat thing to where you can reset the vending machine timer. Oh, really? By pushing, like, F9. So I, like, look at the thing, uh, open the thing, and it has a daily special. Yeah. I'm like, oh, that sucks, F9. Look at it again. Oh, that one sucks, F9. Uh, so you can get the daily so special just keep going. you want. Yeah, and eventually, I mean, you don't get oranges. Right. But eventually you'll find a purple, and I have got one orange before. I found, okay. like, my highest class mod for my character, which was, like, the legendary class okay. mod. Nice. But, yeah, so I do cheat on that, too. <laughs> <laughs> What else besides Borderlands 2 have you played? It's the only uh, game that matters. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's Seriously. you can cheat on. Podcast's over. <laughs> uh, I played... I didn't play it, but I watched my cousin play the new episode of Walking Dead. Fuck, man, I haven't played it yet. I, don't wanna... I like that game, because you can actually sit there and watch somebody play it. And enjoy and it. it's just like you're playing it. So, it's, like, so enjoyable. And I like it better than the fucking TV show. It's pretty, like, low... Low intensity in terms of gameplay, like you're just yeah. kind of watching a movie. Yeah, but like the story's good and the stuff it that is, happens, yeah. like, is pretty crazy. I mean, it's decent. So I watched my cousin play most of that, and I went to bed finally when he was at the end. So I didn't see the end, but he told me about the end of this episode. I was like, dang, that's pretty crazy. But that game's pretty good. <clears throat> Make character dice. Did I tell you I played it? You didn't play all of it. <laughs> <laughs> and he goes until the very end. He may die at the last episode. Episode 5. Because that's what happens in the book. It's fucking everybody dies. <laughs> it's like, hey, yeah, it's I'm like, fucking yeah. new. I'm so and so. And it's like, you're going to fucking die. <laughs> it's like a red shirt at Star Trek. It's, be like, like, it's technically like a prequel. I just had a baby. And he's like, yeah, that baby's going to die. <laughs> the baby's going with you. <laughs> like, you're like, these are my mom and dads. You're like, they're going to die. You're going to get new mom and dads. Watch. Who, who talks like that? <laughs> well, everybody. Everybody. <laughs> I think it's <laughs> writing's writing's awesome when it's right. The game's good though. It's it gives you choices and like normal, but in this one you actually get to like one of the characters. You're like, oh, I fucking want that guy to die, and you actually get to choose whether he lives or dies. Oh, the the dead. No. Oh. I don't know. It's probably gonna be different for you, but you actually get to choose. And we were both like, fucking kill him, fucking kill him. <laughs> Die. Rip his fucking head off! <laughs> Finally, we get to fucking throw his worthless ass away. <laughs> but like, it's a good game just to sit there and watch somebody play. It's entertaining. Very few games can you sit and enjoy some watching. Somebody. It's it's not that one dude's dead. Don't I fucking don't tell me. Anyways, I don't know what they want. One dude's dead. I don't know. Ducky's dead. Memories all make him kill. No 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 no. Who's Ducky? Ducky's the little boy. Fuck that little kid. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like him. Well, you you got it, so you're gonna play it. It's, it's yeah. good. They're all they've all been good, and they're all good games. Uh, besides that, I play Little Big Planet on the Vita. For you a like while. it? Not really. Really? I knew you weren't really liking it when you played the beta either. Yeah, it's the game's short. 
I can tell just from I'm already like 75% through the game, the, mm-hmm. the first player game, and it's fucking short. And it's a lot of the same stuff. And I, they're just giving me a tutorial. I'm like 65, 75% of the game done with the game, and they're making me do a tutorial on some basic shit from Little Big Planet 2 or 1. <laughs> like, here's how you do this. And I'm like. I've been doing that for a while now. I mean, aren't I almost done with this fucking game? <laughs> and then I play my cousin's version, my cousin's copy, so I can't play it online and I can't download all my fucking costumes. Um, so that's kind of annoying. And was he finally able to download all of his stuff? Because they're saying that they're going to... I don't gonna... know, because I don't think he has as much stuff as he thought he did, because he was mainly buying it off, or getting it off my account. Yeah. I have, like, pretty much... Everything up until a certain, like maybe eight months ago when I stopped buying, I had everything. Yeah, you spent a lot of money on. I spent on a it. lot of money on Little Big Planet. But I'm a huge Little Big Planet fan, but this n- no, it's it's I'm playing it, but it's just basically playing it to finish it and say that I finished it. Okay. Maybe if I when I start messing around with the actual creation side, okay. Again, I'll get back in it, but a lot of the guys. On the other show, they're mm-hmm. loving it. I mean, they're just sitting there saying like how much they love Little Big Planet. The the stuff that this is one of the best versions of Little Big Planet that they came out yeah. with. Yeah, building wise, I think it's probably gonna be the best. Just from like the, a lot, it was clunky to build shit in the old Little Big Planet. Like with no, not just feature. building, but like just everything, like the whole gameplay in in total. He said that they were saying it's well, one of the best ones. Well, actual one player game is basically exactly the same as all the other Little Big Planets. The online. It's probably going to be better than the actual story games because the, the actual story levels are pretty bland. They're like the same old shit. The only new thing it's got is that like goo. Yeah. You can blow up and it drops stuff. Yeah. And the touch stuff where you touch in the front or the back. That's yeah. all that's new. Everything else is just recycled shit. Okay. You're saying the jumping's better or anything like that? Maybe? No. Mm-hmm. I think the jumping's the same. I don't think they would have changed it. They might have tweaked it. I, I always, played the beta. I always get real mad when people complain about the jump in a little big plan. You I get p- fucking used to it. Yeah. Just fucking get used to it. Stop complaining. It's not like a fucking. The whole game is physics based. So if you want to jump hard you, or high, you have to push the button fucking hard and hold it for a while. People are like, oh, I'm fucking tapping the button. He's not jumping. You yeah. Just barely tapping it. I'm just going to push it hard and I'll fucking jump. Yeah. Or get a running start. People suck. <laughs> Yeah, it's not like Mario where I push and he jumps fucking exactly the same height every single time as soon as I touch the button. <laughs> <laughs> I um I played the beta and I, I enjoyed the beta. I liked some of the touch missions that they had, like the side missions that there were touch not missions. not really the yes. the yeah, you got a touch sack boy. It's one thing my cousin told me. Missions. My cousin told me the little side missions are fun. The little side missions which are I fun. Haven't, I've only done the ones in the demo. Yeah. Which were fun, the like Tetris one, or the, it wasn't Tetris. It was you had to stack as high as you could building stuff. That was pretty fun. The one where it was like spooky and you had to free the other sack. No, but... this one was like Tetris, where it gave you an item and you had to just like Jenga stack it all as high as you could go. And then you could free the sack. <laughs> then you could, then you could bust the sack. I'm like, I'm like hearing like every other word and just touch and sack. sack that's one thing I do like about this game is they got rid of that sack person bullshit from the second one. Oh, okay god I fucking couldn't stand that sack person cause in Little Big Planet 1 they use sack boy yeah in Little Big Planet 2 they're like oh we don't want to put out fucking little girls we'll call them a sack person so the whole fucking game he calls you sack person or sack thing it's like you're a sack thing yeah he's sack thing you're a sack, sack with person. a thing it's sack boy or sack girl. Now it's like sack boy again. Fucking stupid. Sack thing. I mean, how hard would it be to just fucking have him do two recordings? Hey, sack boy. Hey, sack girl. Yeah. But uh, if it's wearing a dress, hey, sack girl. Hey, sack <laughs> Or. <laughs> hey, sack. What should we call it? If it's a little bit. Hey, sack. Hey, sack, hey, sack tranny. Sack. <laughs> sack tranny. <laughs> they should call him sack and then allow you to put in the word before it. Yeah. <clears throat> Salty sack. Salty Salty sack. <laughs> Salty sack. sack tranny. We accept your like, beliefs. In the whole beginning thing, the, on the whole, the whole like beginning when they're like walking around and Stephen Fry's giving you the introduction, they could have you stop and be like, 
is your sack boy a person a girl or a boy? And then bang, they, you choose, and then it's done for the rest of the game. Yeah. But like I can't stand the second one. That brings up a first. that brings up a question though. Should we start now in games where it's boy or girl? Should we have like a third category? <laughs> Maybe. Or undecided. Undecided. <laughs> <laughs> But, uh, yeah, so I played that one. I'm not that. I'm not that jazzed to be playing it. I'm just gonna basically finish it. I brought it. I was gonna play it during the thing. But, okay. Um, what else did I play? I bought Tokyo Jungle, but after it downloaded and installed, my PlayStation was like screaming like a hair dryer, and I was like, I'll just play Borderlands 2 because my computer's super quiet. So I was like, I'll just let it rest. So I didn't play Tokyo Jungle yet. Um, did it take a long time to install for you? No, it's a pretty big file though. It's it's like two point something gigs. You, yeah. you think if something's downloading and you're trying to install a game at the same time, it'll make it go slow? Because mine took forever to install, like half an hour, forty five minutes. Maybe, because it's probably just a processor thinking like, okay, we're installing this one, but it's downloading, slowing down grabbed, in the background. I grabbed like if the when you multitask on the PS3, it it tends to slow down a lot. I figured it was that. The the thing is, I, I downloaded that. The All the Walking Dead up to not the last one obviously and then the um, whatever it was there was like multiple things going yeah so it downloaded and then when it started to install it like took forever and um, I was just kind of tripping out but every once in a while something on mine will install it wouldn't forever. it wouldn't let me cancel because I was gonna go and like pause the downloads and see if that was it but it won't let you cancel so you have to like yeah. let it, and you can't turn it off yeah you might fuck it up so I was like all right whatever so I was just doing something on my yeah. computer. Turned mine off after it was screaming because I got scared because my cousin's play PS3 broke again last week. He got it fixed and then it broke again? Yeah, it fixed and it broke again. So yeah, dude, once gonna, he gets it fixed, once it breaks the first gets, time and you get it fixed, go sell that thing and get yeah, rid of like, it. Yeah, yeah, you got to like maybe... So he's going he's gonna to send it to Sony and then it's just like give dead him Because I think they'll give you a new one for 100 bucks still. I don't want mine to break. So I just turned it off. So other than that, last thing I played was I played Resident Evil. I watched my cousin play a lot of it because he's a huge Resident Evil fan. Yeah. I watched him play a lot of it, and I was like, holy shit, what the fuck is wrong with this game? And see, like, all the guys on the other podcast were loving it, dude. That was funny. I I was just like... I watching somebody play that. It's like they took the game, and they had this idea, and then they just fucking fucked it up. Like, the camera's bad. The fucking aiming's bad. The aiming's not bad. It's just that in the beginning of the game... You aim like shit, and then you have to upgrade in order to shoot good. Well, it's see, like, there's that. there's your reticle. Have to play the game shitty in order to earn points to make a control good. Yeah. The reticle has that little that little, little spinning, dot. the little rear yeah, spinning. Yeah, little dot. So when my cousin's playing, it's like woo, woo. By the time we got to the end of the game, it's pretty much stable, right in the middle, right where it should be. Yeah. Why the fuck do you have to earn points yeah. to do that? Yeah, fuck it should be that. just go off your skill. Yeah. The game is. It's the like it's, you're you're playing so Chris, you're up. playing Chris Redfield, right? Playing Leon. Leon. Okay. Well, you're Leon, but still, you're fucking Leon. Your stars. You've been through this shit so long. Like, why do I have to sit there and be like, how do I use a gun again? Quick, someone tell me how to use a gun. Guys, I need to know right now. There's zombies coming. They're right behind the hall. My crazy eye is going a little wacky. (laughs) That's actually an issue I've had with the last, at least with the last one, is I felt like they either should have, I don't know about like a revamp or maybe like a different storyline, but it's like either. Go full shooter with it and give you the the running and shooting, or just take like I don't know like figure it out. See, but the like, just the whole handicapped fighting yeah. from like the fourth and fifth one where like you can shoot but you can't run while you're shooting and the fucking aiming so it's like fuck dude like fuck that like make it to where you can defend yourself without a gun yeah uh, and you can move and because you're not gonna fucking stand still zombies are coming that's, that's just common it, sense that's very japanese that's, of them where they just have to exactly. make it to where it's like a game you have to game, that's not realistic the game tr- they tried to please everyone with this game yeah. by making the leon missions are really dark and like resident evil-ish and then the chris redfield ones are like run and gun like fucking little like in between his and maybe gears of war where you're like constantly shooting is that gameplay so different the gameplay's not really different but it's the pace is kind of okay the pace is kind of different for each one the game is leon's missions are fucking so dark yeah they are so very dark fucking i played dark. that in the beta needlessly the dark because like i personally when it's like turn down your fucking tv so you can't see this emblem I'm like, no, fuck you. I turn it up so I can yeah, see. I do that too. 
this game like hasn't turned it all the way up, you still can't see shit. And they say it's like to fucking set the mood. No, I think it's because they wanted to fucking use shitty textures and yeah. don't have to do anything because the game does not look that great. The character models look fucking amazing. Like Leon's jacket actually fucking moves while he's walking. Yeah. Like his arm part yeah. like moves. Like the extra flap. Yeah. yeah, like it just moves around and his hair moves a little bit. His little fucking gay haircut or whatever. <laughs> the, the character models look no good, homo. but the whole fucking game, the whole game, rest of the game is on Leon's is so dark. It's so fucking dark. Like you're in a room, and half the screen is just black. You can't see what's over there. And when they give you a flashlight, it doesn't work for shit. It's like, like just to light up the yeah, area it, two it feet in front of little, you. <laughs> yeah, it shoots a little beam on the wall. And it doesn't shoot any like ambient light or anything. There's no fucking like. It's a it's a classic case of <clears throat> gameplay trumping like reality. Yeah. Yeah. And then the camera's so bad, it's it's really close to them. So your character takes up like I don't know like a good quarter of the screen. Mm -hmm. And they thank God they give you the option where you can push the joystick and you switch. Yeah. Shoulders. You switch oh, shoulders. Switch, so, shoulders. So it actually switches what side the camera's on and your HUD mm -hmm. and all that stuff switches yeah, too. But they need to get more like why make it more complicated with the controls. You should make it like I said, make it more simple. And yeah, just tighten up the controls. The game just seems rushed. It's like, like I had such a good idea yeah. and the concept was good, but it just seems rushed to where if they would actually play it, they would have figured out that when you go in a room, they should have just did. You're in this little tiny room. You don't have room to have a fucking camera behind the character. You should have just done what you did in Resident Evil of the, the past, which mounted in the corner. And you don't necessarily have to make it fixed, but, like, make it so it pans and with a little bit with the character. Because when you go into, like, little rooms in the game, the camera gets all wacky and the zombies start popping up off the floor. So it's not a fixed camera and then, anymore? No, it's, like, behind your back. Was the last one fixed camera? No. Mm. It was, like... No, but you were outside all the time in, like, Africa or whatever. Yeah, it was, like, it was switched to... This on one has scenery. a lot of yeah. indoor hallways little rooms, stuff like that, and it doesn't, the camera doesn't fucking work in those areas. And it, like, all of a sudden, it'll just flip around, and it'll be stuck in the, shooting you in the side of the face, and the fucking zombie just jumps on you, are like, what the fuck was that zombie? Yeah, I tripped over it one happens when I was playing all the, the game. Time. That's, yeah. that's one of the cool things about the game, is there's zombies laying on the floor, yeah. and if you walk over them, you'll trip, and they'll grab your leg. Yeah. But it's also fucking stupid, it's like, oh, there's a zombie on the floor, bang, 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 nothing happens. Yeah. As soon as you walk over him, oh, he gets up. Yeah, and then he yeah. gets up. Yeah. And while he's getting up, you can't kill him until he's fully up. Yeah, until he's fully it's erect. It's fucking retarded. Like animation too. There's so much bad. The animations in the game are shitty. When you watch, we watched the zombie get up, and he was like halfway up, and then all of a sudden he was like, Pink, he was standing straight up. <laughs> there was like, there's so many like missing animations in the game. Mm -hmm. Zombies like shamble towards you. Pretty much all of them shamble towards you. And then when they're like five feet away, they go, whoa, and just magically leap at you like all this power and just land on you. <laughs> There's a part in the game where you're in a cemetery, and every time lightning goes off, all of a sudden there's a zombie on you. It is the most retarded shit ever. I could not stand watching my cousin play. I was like, dude, just fucking turn this shit off. <laughs> like, why are you playing this? He's like, I'm going to do it. He's like, it's not bad. I kind of like it. I was like, ah. Oh. In the madness. But like, he's it's like walking, what we all said walking, for episode one. He's walking and all of a sudden, bang, a zombie's on his shoulder. And I'm like, where the fuck did that come from? He's like, I don't know. <laughs> so he's playing it on hard. He couldn't fucking play it. So he dropped it down to normal. And it was still super fucking annoying. So I was like, just put it on easy so you could play the game. Yeah. So now he's playing it on easy. It's, little, it's slightly more enjoyable. But the game has, it's fucked up. There's a lot of things in it that are fucked up stories were ridiculous like i was like there's a part where <laughs> he's like in a bus that crashes or something and it's up on something and the fucking the engine uh, the front of the bus is up on top of something and the wheels are spinning i was like i don't think buses are front wheel drive yeah <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then there's another part where he's in like a bar and there's like it's slightly like moved around like all the furniture's moved around to like like there was a like a like a struggle like yeah. a struggle or something but like there's a pool table and it's slightly crooked i'm like even if all this stuff was in the right areas 
there's not enough room in this bar for that pool table <laughs> at all. Like, physically impossible to put a... Who the fuck would put one? Just throw a bunch of tables yeah. in this room. We need there's something no big. Room pool for, table. There's so much, like, weird design shit in that game that's, like... Just feels like somebody who knew nothing about anything just fucking threw shit and just placed it. The level designs are fucking horrible. It's just a lot of backtracking and fucking areas are, like, exactly the same. When you get to, like... Later in the game, you get to, like, this like, Chinese meat market... I don't know how the fuck you can tell everything. Everything's just copy and pasted from everywhere and all these hallways. It's like a huge maze. And you have to run back and forth and all this shit. And everything looks exactly the same. I mean, all Resident Evil games had backtracking. But it was yeah. never extensive. This one it was just is, like, it's just so bad. Like, we would we would backtrack and because when your first playthrough, you're like, okay, well, I'm going back here. I don't know what I'm doing. But then, like, when you're going through your second playthrough, you're like, Run here, run here, run here, run here, and you just like, yeah, you know, you're very fast with it, you know, for for yeah. something like that to sit there and be like, you don't even know where the fuck you're at, mm -hmm. you know, it's like the one room in Halo, you know, yeah. the library or whatever. It's yeah, called. the library because that was terrible. Every single room exactly looks exactly I was just like, the same. I was like, where the fuck am I? I can't find. It's the library that was in the first Halo. You have to go through sections while you're trying to get to the main core of the library, and each room looked exactly the same. Well, you had like an indoor room, then an outdoor room, then an indoor room, then an outdoor room. Yeah. They all looked exactly the they same. They all use the same mm -hmm. textures. They all look yeah, the same. They so look people got no confused. different. So you get lost. And then the same thing was like when you had to climb the towers, the towers, all the floors looked exactly yes. the same. Yes. And you had to like climb this one tower, you had to climb this other tower, and you have to climb this other tower before you can go into the area. And they're like, go back to another one. And I was like, where the fuck yeah. am I, dude? Like, I got so lost in them. And I was having a hard time. I was, all, yeah, I was like, I don't understand why people love this game so much. But then it was all, yeah. But then it was all about the multiplayer. Multiplayer, I yeah. enjoyed. So I could see Resident Evil, them having good intentions and having an idea. But then they totally just, just fucked it up, added too much shit. Didn't actually sit down and play the game. And say, does this shit actually work? Because there's so much in it that's just fucking horrible design. Like, it could have been fixed so so easily. Just, it's just a, you can tell they cut corners and just like, let's get this shit out. It's Resident Evil. Who gives a fuck? I mean, I saw the I saw the review on Kotaku like before the game, like the day the day before it came out, and they do this review thing where they'll write a whole review, but real big in the middle of the page it says should you play this game that says yes or no? Like, huge. And I was like, oh, let's see if they gave Resident Evil. And they said no. And I was like, dang, that's harsh. I was like, it can't be that bad. But after I actually, I didn't read their fucking article, but after I played it, I was like, I don't know what to buy this game. I was going to buy it just to play it with my cousin. Because I even told him, I was like, part five was fun, but I played a lot of that shit with other people. Yeah. So yeah, that's, I told him, that's maybe what... this game will be really fun if we play with other people. And it's it's more manageable. It's not fun. Like, it's a lot easier when I can cover his back so there's not just zombies jumping on his yeah. back all the time. But. So that was the thing about 5, too, is it did pretty much keep everything in place that 4 had, and all it really did was add the multiplayer. Yeah. Um, and if honestly, if the this game would have kind of stayed, didn't change much and just stayed out the fifth one was and just added more story... People probably would have liked it better than probably what you're describing. I, I didn't I've, even feel like the seen, urge to the story buy it or play it. Or... The story's so bad from what I've seen. Like, you're, as Leon, he's like obsessed with chasing Ada Wong. And the whole fucking time you're chasing her, she's trying to fucking kill you. Yeah. And then he finally is like, where are you going? And he's like, finally catches up to her at the end <laughs> after they beat the boss. And she's like, smiles at him. I'm like, that bitch tried to kill you the whole fucking time. <laughs> like, literally tried to kill you. And he's like, where are you going? She's like, I have to go. I have to go. It's like, he must really like Asian chicks. And they totally made her not that Asian looking in this game. Yeah. Like, she's not as Asian as she used to be. Which chick? Ada Wong. No. Oh. And then the, the, the girl you're paired with when you're Leon looks exactly like Leon. I told my cousin, yeah. I was like, they look like twins. <laughs> you have heard of the same They just, they just took the face in yeah. there. And then when you're playing as Chris... The guy you're playing with, Chris, looks like a younger, scrawnier version of Chris. They could have at least mixed it up and put, like, a black guy with them. Or, like, Leon with, like, a black girl. I was like, they're like, oh, we can't do that. We did that in Resident Evil 5. Something. Yeah, well, yeah. The game's just, I don't know. They just, it's their like, cash Like, they cut too many, yeah. It's, uh, it was I, like a 
Just to throw and then out. they're going to release a gold edition of it, and then they're going to release another one. So. Well, but there's so much stuff in it. It's just. Ugh. I have no. No interest in. Picking like, it up. No, I'm never probably going to pick it up. Maybe. <laughs> Can't say never. Uh, you said that. never about a lot of games. I seen you. You know, like why'd you pick that game up? You're all. It, it was, was five bucks. <laughs> <laughs> Can't pass up a game for five bucks. Um, yeah. Anything else you've been playing? No. No. Vince. I guess it's my turn. Your turn. Tell us on the internet where we can find you. On PS3, my name is Loki nine zero nine. And your website. Uh, VincentLandreth.com. Cool. Oh yeah. Uh, I buy his art. It's huh? good shit. Yeah, buy everything. So yeah, I actually played three or four games this last two weeks. Yeah, not just Battlefield. <laughs> not just Battlefield. I think I only played Battlefield once or twice. Uh, I played um, Infinity Blade Two. I downloaded it during the last podcast and started playing it while we were still recording. Mm -hmm. And played that for about a week, and that was pretty cool. It's pretty much just like the first one, just better, and uh, the gem system, uh, it's pretty cool. I mean, I totally fucked up and made a couple, put a couple gems together and lost them, or got some stupid <laughs> fucking shit for it. But um, the, the gem combining system works really good. In it's it, pretty so. good. Like I see what you're saying, like, if you put, like, gems together, you're going to get a better version of that. If you take random gems that are, like, they could all be rare, and you're going to get something you might not like, and you just wasted them. Yeah, you just wasted them. But I, so the so best thing to do is just keep, if you got, like, something rare, then find a couple other gems that are just like it, and then combine them together. And then yeah. you'll get the best of the rarity and the best of the other ones also. Okay. But overall, I mean, I kind of stopped playing it. Um, <laughs> I'm probably like 26 or 27 playthroughs on it, yeah. at least. And I haven't really been picking up a lot of gems and stuff, so I'm kind of like getting a little bit discouraged. Like I'm trying to, I know from the last game, if you didn't, if you like leveled up too fast in terms of your equipment, like if you geared up too fast, mm -hmm. Uh, it's really weird like if you if let's say you have like the first set of armor and like weapons and helmet and all that shit once they max out then you don't get any XP yeah. like the only way you can get XP is if you have a, a, a attachment or a weapon that's empty okay or has room so like let's say you get a thousand XP yeah your helmet will get a thousand XP and your sword will get a thousand XP okay and each time it does that your main XP bar gets it so if your helmet's maxed out then you won't get XP for that one. Okay. So that's like a sixth of your XP you're not going to get on that round. Okay. So in the last game, I fucked up and like bought the best shit as, as fast as I could. And then I couldn't level up anymore. So it's like I had to fucking go and use like shitty weapons. And I'm like level 30. And it's like then you're getting your ass beat. So this time I've been trying to like go through each weapon in a row. Each fucking helmet in a row. Yeah. And the only one I haven't been doing is my, my, main, my weapon. Because um, I have a fucking stone or a gem on it that I... Just helps me beat them. So I've been sacrificing that your six, weapons, that sixth of my XP for okay. a while. Anyways, long story short, it, it was cool. But then I started playing, um, play a little Battlefield. Then I played uh, the Tokyo Jungle. Mikey bugged me about it, and then it's it's got the total fucking uh, I, I, high score thing where you want to beat your friend and shit. So you get a little bit, of, it's like a little bit like crack. Yeah, and it wasn't just really bugging you. It was like I, I knew it was something that you would probably like. You just like the concept of it because it's kind of trippy. Well, like we were playing Battlefield, and that's when you told me about it. And when you first told me about it, I got really intrigued by it. I thought it was going to be different. I thought it was going to be like a like a art style, you know, yeah. indie game with these fucking creatures. I gotta like survive. And I'm like, oh, that sounds fucking interesting. Then I start playing, I realize it's like Japanese is. Fuck, like it's really Japanese. It's really Japanese it's type of a game. Got a lot of goofiness to it that like is, but it's really really cool. And then because of like the permanent death aspect and the high score aspect, um, I immediately call, uh, hit up my friend Ian, who I knew like plays games like that. Yeah. And sure enough, he's fucking all over that shit. Um, so yeah, it's really really fun. There's, I mean, we can talk all sorts of stuff about that one. I don't know if you were gonna. No, go ahead and talk about it, because I played it too, so we can talk about it too. Like, have you, do you know anything about it, Ryan? I was actually just looking at a video about it, and actually I remember when I watched that video when Mikey showed me the original video for it. It's it's kind of weird, it's like, um, you pick an animal, uh, like there's no more humans, yada yada, yeah. and then all the fucking pets and shit go feral and have to like survive. 
So I've, I've been playing as a Pomeranian exclusively. I played as a deer <laughs> yeah, once. Yeah. I did that for a reason. I was curious. But, um, you know. Well, his reason is expl- expl- explain, yeah, explain your reason. <laughs> explain your reason about Pomeranians. Well, and you and your, your partner are going to raise them. Yeah. We love Pomeranians <laughs> and we want to see how many we can touch. No. Uh, the reason why is because every time you, you can only play, it's like survival mode. So as soon as you die, no matter how long you're playing, you got to start back over. And okay. however many times you've mated, then your, your, your character, par- your, that creature has another generation that ups their stats a little bit. Okay. So I'm on like tw- generation 27 that I've played it through as the Pomeranian. So I've, and it's kind of cool. You know how many times you've played. Yeah. It's like my cat's three, so my the Pomeranian's 27, and my deer's like two. So it's like okay. 32 times I've played through. Okay. Um, but my Pomeranian now is about double what it was at the fall. Yeah. The, the, Except his, for speed. His stats. His speed won't go up. His it's, stats. Like, it's like a little wheel, you know, where it's got like the hunger... On one side, attack. Uh, hunting. Yeah, spikes. Yeah, hunting and everything else. And then it just kind of forms a uh, hexagon some shape. Some like more shaped where they're more balanced for power, for okay. you know, for hunger, so they don't die of hunger. Yeah, long, long mm-hmm. story short, the reason why I play that many times as a Pomeranian is to see what you know how much I can level him up. Yeah. And so far, he's about double, except for his speed. He will not go up. He's going to always stay that speed. Okay. Because so, he's a short-legged little creature. a little creature. fucking puffball. And that's my... Go ahead. So... Is it different, like, say you're a Pomeranian and you're deer? Is there totally different gameplay? Yeah, so totally I, I different gameplay. Yeah, Pretty like, much what happens is you pick one of the creatures. If you're a Pomeranian, you're a predator. If you're a deer, you're a, a uh, grazer. Okay, okay. Um, both are, the whole point is to, like, eat and stay alive. Yes. Um, so if you're, an, if you're a predator, you have to kill things. Yeah. And you have, you have to try to, like, sneak up on things and attack them stealth stealth attack Mm -hmm. um you have to watch out for bigger animals than you like if you're walking around and a fucking there's like a lion hanging out in fucking bushes and you don't see him he'll fucking kill you in one hit that's it you it is permanent death you go as long as you can um and your the animal you're playing at as can only be so old like after so many years after 15 years of being with that one animal they'll start to die die. so you have to mate mate. and to find a mate you have to control an area to control an area you have to mark they're flags. You just mark them like... You piss on the spot. Piss on the spot. Okay. Once you take an area, you can find a hoe. If the hoe is... You gotta find a hoe. If... If she has black hearts above her? Yeah. Like <laughs> she's, a de- she's, hoe, a, she's a desperate hoe. She's a like desperate hoe. She's a desperate hoe. It could be like the prime dime hoe. Oh, okay. So if you want to get the prime dime hoe, you gotta fucking... Uh, Make sure you level kill, up. You gotta be yeah. a hunter, be a boss. Like okay. In terms of like their An rookie... Yeah. Yeah, they call it the boss. Okay. But it's just a point system. Like once you get so many calories, then you... They consider you a fucking boss. Okay. And you go, and then you can go tap it, and then you'll have puppies. If it's a, if it's a skank, like flea bitten, like literally there's fleas and shit, flea okay. bitten hoe. You're only gonna get like a couple offspring. Okay. And then you're running around as the the main one, and then your your sibling. Okay. If it's like a prime and you, you know, did well and one, you, two. yes please, um, then you'll get up to. I've only gotten up to five, so I had. Six total, me plus my five siblings, like five Pomeranians, like fucking trailing me. Yeah, okay. And Ian, my friend Ian, he said he's gotten like seven. Really? So I don't know how that happened or what the difference is, but he said he got seven and they'll attack w- with you if one of your guys. That pretty much it is uh, permanent death. So once you have an offspring, let's say you have you plus five more, when your character dies, another one takes up the mantle. So you okay. technically have like five lives. Okay. But those fuckers can get owned. Like, let's say you roll up, I've done it where I came up on a yeah. crocodile, and I've you ro- fucking swapped with his tail, swiped with his tail, and fucking killed like three of my siblings. I took off and only two of us survived. So now I like, lost three lives without my main character even fucking dying. One time I was running through at night, and I was going back to the main area where you first start off at, and I was like, oh, I'm gonna run back to the main area. Fucking lions and yeah, tigers were fighting. For, so like, if you leave an area and come back, it won't be the same. Okay. Yeah. I heard you guys saying um, you're playing a, a deer, a cat, and a pomeranian, right? Um, are all animals open at the beginning, or is there only no. select? No, there's types? only two. There's only two. Yeah, okay. You only a pomeranian or a deer. That's okay. all you can choose. The deer from. does grazing, which you're looking for plants, and yeah. you have to defend right. yourself and fight certain things. Other things you got to run from. Okay. Yeah, and most of the time, when you're a deer, a deer you, from a pomeranian. His hunger span drops fast. Yeah, so okay. he's he always constantly has to eat. Okay. As a deer, I can eat one plant and fucking jam across two maps. Okay. 
and I can barely, and then I'll go get something to eat. Okay. So I'm jamming across two different sections, and I can I can get something to eat if I need to if I'm running nonstop. Okay. And then I have like a train of animals chasing me. Okay. But um, as a deer, I can sit there. That's one of the ones I got my highest generations out of all of them. Okay. But I was just running around grabbing the plants, and then they were like, "Go see the chicken boss." And I had to go to this one area. Once I made it to this one area, I was able and talked to, you know, I just had to touch the animal. And once I touched okay. it, you know, it gave me my quest things. Now, to unlock new animals, you have to play different animals. Okay. In the different animals that you play. So, like, the Pomeranian has a main boss it's objective. A challenge list. He has a challenge, challenge list. list. Okay. So, from the first years that he's born, he has a challenge list of, like, say, three challenges. You know, take over this area, find a mate. Reproduce so it's once. Different every time. Yeah, it's and always it's three challenges. It's right? always three there's challenges. There's always one at the bottom that'll be like a special one that you can unlock. And like the special one will be clothes. like clothes. There's also clothes. Yeah. Oh, that'll give you. Yeah, yeah give I actually buffs. saw a little bit of that. Yeah, they'll give you buffs and shit. Fucking more attack, more hunger, shit like that. They said if you complete all the challenges, and then you'll get the tr- the tuxedo for each animal. Yeah. Oh, nice. And then they have a boss challenge, which is like you have to bite fight a boss. And if you do it before the age of twenty one or something like that, if you live twenty yeah, years, so then you then you you if you did it before it, then you've passed it, and then they'll unlock a new animal. That's for the thing. You. It, it, it's kind of really weird. There's like a sense of urgency because what happens is is that once you start out, you're one year old. You have a, a no, life, you're zero. You're zero. You have yeah. a lifeline at the top that's scrolling by. A, a year goes by in about a minute. Yeah, it's very yeah. fast. So that's one year. I t- was fucking myself over in the beginning because I didn't understand how it worked. I was. Go, I would go look at the challenges. I see the first three were still locked, but I just assumed, well, mark five times, yeah. kill ten animals, whatever. There's always three. So I started doing it. The thing is, is that there's a minimum life. You have to be at least one years old. One years old to, oh, to so ten. You have to be a, okay. Then it's eleven to twenty. Then it's twenty-one to thirty. Then it's thirty to forty-five. Okay. So I first couple times I played it, I didn't know that. So I was yeah. like, you mark the areas mark real everywhere. quick. And then it'd be like, then the challenge comes available. Now mark six times. You're like, fuck, you marked everything already. Okay. Or now you ate everything already. Okay. And now you have to go to a new area. Yeah. And you're not strong enough to go into the other area. So pretty or much like, you, there's times where you're literally just, for me, what I guess I decided the best thing to do is just stay alive. And a lot of times one of the challenges will be just to enter an area. And a lot of times they're far away. So I just start making my way that way eat what I need to on the way because you don't want to deplete areas of food. Yeah. Because literally the game will... Show you... When you hit the start button and you hit the major map and then you hit the triangle to zoom out, it'll show you all the areas. show you like where the food's available. And it'll say a little bit of food, a lot of food, you know, maybe so a little a bit of food. What I was going to say is the, the game will literally get to a point or at any moment, really, and it's happened to me at least once or twice where it was like, what? Like, fuck you, game. Like... It literally will get to points where you will have not there will not be any food in your area, and there will not be food for like two more areas. You can see it, and okay. you know you're not going to be able to make that distance. You're yeah. going to die. Yeah. So if you fucking just try anyways, and you die anyways, or the area will get polluted, and okay. then you fuck because there's a toxicity level. Once it hits a certain level, your life starts to go down, or your hunger starts to go down, and you're like fucking panicking, looking yeah. for a fucking crow, or anything to eat. <laughs> yeah. Fucking water, drink the water, oh, it's poisonous, but fuck, like, do it's it anyways. Like you do it anyways. Yeah. Or literally, like, you're running and, like, you're, everything's fucking perfect, and, like, damn, I got food, I'm not, I'm, this game's just going great, and a fucking tiger jumps out of a fucking bushes and eats your ass, dude. And that's it. And that's, that's really where the, the crack part comes in, because it is, um, uh, once you figure out the the challenge the, system, the, the, the challenge system and the mechanics of the game, you're constantly in this like urgent like be careful because you know like the dude there's times you're fucking like creeping around a fucking sleeping lion and shit yeah. and fucking as soon as they come alive you just book it yeah and like hopefully you'll run into a pack of wolves and they'll fight them off for you yeah. and you can, like leave and shit. Or I mean, like, I've, I've done this before. It's like, I ran into an area and I was like, there's a fucking beagle and I killed the beagle and I was like, fuck yeah, I killed that beagle. Didn't see the rest of the map because it was dark. There was like six more beagles right there, oh. and they fucking came over and just raped yeah, me. They'll, they'll just, like uh, howl and shit. Like if a wolf comes up on you, they have an icon. If you don't drop him in time, uh, he'll howl, and then his homies show up. Okay. And then there's literally times where you're running, and there's about thirty fucking things chasing you. Yeah. Okay. Um, I've seen elephants and fucking crocodiles. I've killed a crocodile with pomeranians. A polar bear. <laughs> oh, kill a polar bear. Hyper realistic. I killed a bear. It because it is. It's a little weird because it's like this side scrolling hack and slash in yeah. a sense. So sometimes they get like stuck. If you can like 
a crocodile will fucking kill you. Yeah. Instantly. Yeah. But if it gets stuck on a wall and you can get up on its ass, you can chew its ass up and fucking kill it. Because um, you'll have your you'll have a couple of things where like you can just go straight up and attack it. Okay. Or you can sit there and wait until the teeth marks become red. A certain distance, and then you can, the, yeah, this icon comes up. And if you hit the right time, you'll get a clean kill. Like a and then you'll get a clean kill. But if it's a too big of an animal, yeah. you won't get a clean kill. You'll do some you'll, damage. You'll get a and then them, you'll get a you tap the, tap button, the R1 button. And you keep, button, button, and you keep fucking, biting them. You hold triangle on your fucking homies start fucking shredding him and shit. So <laughs> Dang, that's typically right. what happens. You fucking hold down yeah. triangle. They're fucking getting him. And you're like on his ass. Like fucking slashing his ass with your claws and shit trying to kill him. One of the things that's funny is like with the deer, when you're playing the deer and you re- and you have your first generation with the deer, you're like, oh, I got three deer with me, and you're running around. Deer's like the most brutal. You it's you horrible. fucking you'll be running, and then there's a creature that's too strong for you. If you want to, you can hit triangle, and one of your brothers or sisters will just drop over, dead, lay over, and sacrifice themselves so you can get away. <laughs> But you never, right, you never seen nothing until you see a fucking deer, straight fucking deer kick a fucking rabbit across the screen, or a fucking baby chicken across the screen. Yeah. Or you walk up all slow and shit, and you fucking like target on it, and you turn around with his back feet, just fucking destroys him, dude. It's like horrible. And like some of the kills, the kills are brutal. The kills are the kills are very brutal. Like you literally like start off with this little puffy, cute little Parmenian. And there's like this trance music, dooch, 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 dooch. <laughs> like hell yeah, dude. He's fucking like running, sees a fucking rabbit, and then he gets it. It's just fucking <laughs> bloods everywhere and shit. And then it's like, all clean kill. Like, eating it, eating it. The fucking bones go. It's like yeah, it's it's brutal. And then next, then you're back and it's dooch, 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 and a little fucking Pomeranian all bouncing around and shit. <laughs> fucking all cute. I have unlocked the Pomeranian. I have unlocked the deer. Those are the first few you start off with. And then I got um, the baby chick, okay. which I was like, that's got to be a fucking challenge. I was uh, like, Let Ian, me t- Ian texted me and said, fuck being a baby chick. <laughs> or fuck playing as a chick. No, it's not that hard. He, he said it sucked. I lasted a long time with the baby chick. So as the baby chick, you can then when you go to mate, you'll become a rooster. You have okay. to sleep, become a rooster, and then you can mate. And then you'll have little chicks again. Okay. So that's been cool. Um, I've got the cat, and I bought all versions, all different colors of the cats. There's okay. six different colors of cats. Okay. Um, not all animals will have two different, you know, more multiple right, versions, skins. but some yeah. some will. And then I've unlocked the, the beagle, and... I bought both versions of the Beagle. Then I unlocked the big massive Tora dog. Uh, Tora? Tor- like to- uh, Torca. Torino? Yeah, Torino. Mm-hmm. One of those dogs. And then I have also have some of the other downloadable content ones. I just got the pack. The, the, did you already say that? The panda. The, the panda. We got a panda now. We got like... Ostrich. Ostrich. Uh, and the ostrich and so alligator. You don't, to, you don't have to unlock that. If you buy the pack, if you buy the pack, like like two fifty for all four four features: panda, crocodile. So uh, they're new. It's not just an unlock thing. They were like no, already they're, there. no, they're already in the game. So you just paid to unlock them. You just paid to unlock. Them. I think they're already they're always intended to be bought. They're always intended to be bought because there's certain there's ones. There's like a grid of like probably fucking fifty or sixty creatures, and some are like there's like a saber tooth tiger that's like got a lock on it that's like. Uh, since you can't buy it yet, I'm assuming that's going to be saved to buy later. Yeah, there's a saber tooth tiger that's down there, and it says this is not available on the store. So it, it will be playable later on, but you can, you know, it's playable in the game now. You can see it, and you'll fight against it, but you can't play it until the store releases it. Okay. Now, that's only, like, maybe, I want to say 10 animals out of the whole grid that they have. Okay. And the grid they have is probably about... 30, 40 animals. There's at least... It's a good variation, then. There's at least yeah. three or four. Like, there's the Golden Retriever, Beagle, the Silky, the Pomeranian, but then there's, all, like, Dingoes, there's Wolves. Any birds? Um, there's Besides no... Besides the Ostrich. No. Well, there's also the the Crows. You can kill a Crow. The Crows but, aren't considered, like, really, like... They don't pop up on the targeting, like, normally. So nothing that can actually fly. Well, there is. You can They fly, and you can kill them, but you can't play as That's them. That's what I meant, yeah. There's no fly no flying playable things. character. Okay. It's all ground shit. Um, okay. The there's a lot of like um, 
Zebras. Platforming, like up to buildings and shit like that. And, okay. And that was another thing too. Like once you start playing it, you're like, oh, you're running across the bottom of the screen. You realize there's a whole different go up platforming the level okay. going up, and then you're running across rooftops in yeah, certain like, areas. Sometimes you're running and you're like literally like having to fucking figure out like I better fucking run, jump down this building, fucking because they they're fat like. As a Pomeranian, they're slow, so everything's like a lot faster, and you're dashing everywhere and shit. Okay. And sometimes you're like literally like rooftop to rooftop and across vines and shit. Okay. It's yeah. pretty cool. It's kind of weird. Like every time you go in an area, it's like randomly generated, and um, it's very strange. I don't typically play games like that. Me personally, like I I like games that are more like you save it, and like I didn't realize that at first. Like I there, you can save when you do the mating. I so I saved and I came back later to play. I was like cool. And then fucking I die and I was like, oh, okay, go to reload it. And it's like, my save file was gone. I was like, oh, it got oh. fucked up or something. I was like tripping out. It's like, no, no, no. Like they're, once you fucking come alive, your save is gone. Like they just give you that one option just in case you had to go to work or something. And uh, you can pick up. Okay. But there's yeah. no saving. Okay. So uh, there's no saving at all in the game. Only when you can mate. So yeah, no reloading. The other weird thing is okay. it's, it's backwards in terms of, I kept playing the tutorial and I was like, because oh. you see all the, the story mode missions and they're like locked. I'm like, dude, I keep playing the fucking tutorial it won't unlock the game. Like, something's wrong with the game. I keep yeah. thinking these things are wrong with it. Well, it turns out this game is different. You have to play a survival to unlock to these, like, these, episodes. These episodes okay. of what's story mode. Of what happened. So it's like reverse. Prior. You play survival the main time, and then as you unlock things, you get, like, little, like, kind of, like, fun little things that show you, you know, things about these each particular animals. Okay. It, and the, the thing is, is you have to get, um, you know, these, these data chips. So you'll be running around and there'll be like a present somewhere and one area will have like three or four data chips. So you go down to that area and you get the three or four data chips and it unlocks a story. And as it's unlocking the story, it unlocks a story mode in the chapter. Oh, okay. So then you go, okay, well then after you've been playing for a while and you died and you're like, oh, well, let me go check out the story modes. You go check out the story modes and you notice you unlock two stories and then you play it and it's a good, you know, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, if that, you know, Less maybe yeah about twenty minutes just of like a little story, okay. and you play and you go through the section and you go through and you, you figure out and it tells you what's going on with like the pomeranian or what's going on with the deer and what's going on with the yeah. beagles and then like how animals are taking over and stuff like that and then once you start to see like the story mode, it's telling you more about what happened, and what happened why there's no humans. It's almost like more tutorial in a way. It's like one episode. Yeah. Like I've only got one unlocked. It's just okay. pomeranian. It was like. 10 minutes, 5 minutes. Yeah. Just a little extra shit to kind of tell you, like, you know. How to hunt and how to be different and, like, how to, how to, it, it's teaching you mechanics as you go along, but it's shit that's, like, like Resident Evil. It's, like, it's, or, like, little big plan. It's teaching you shit that you're, like, i am already been doing that. Yeah, you already Like, it's showing you one part of the Pomeranian where he's running up on top of the roofs, and as you're running around on the roof, it's just, like, oh, well, I've been doing that for a while now. Okay. You know, I figured out that I can run around on the roofs. Okay. Um, so the story mode, there's 14 chapters, I think, in the story mode. I've done, like, five okay. or six. So it's pretty cool. Um, also, with the, the, the one thing that's very Japanese is, like, as you're playing along, you'll find items like flea shampoo, water, beef jerky, and they have different attributes. Flea shampoo gets rid of fleas because while you're running, if you have fleas on you it'll stop you and you'll pause oh okay. and you'll scratch, you'll scratch. Okay. <laughs> so if you're running away from something <laughs> hey but there's no other people around <laughs> if you want to have your luxuries as a pomeranian dog Richard finds a way <laughs> <laughs> so that's what happens and then the water will like you know refill your 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 health bar but it won't refill your hunger bar okay you know stuff like that beef jerky will keep your stamina full okay. so you'll just sit there and dash dash that you know you okay. can dash and then it won't reduce your stamina okay. um the different outfit outfits add different attributes okay so there's like a schoolgirl outfit there's a you know a security dog and he's just like wearing a big old like police outfit Hyper realistic. Yeah, and it's very Japanese, so you can. All the, all the humans died, but they left all these Pomeranian clothes <laughs> and deer clothes. You can put it. Deer make, clothes. You can make it. Maybe a de- that's what happened to the humans. They were like, <laughs> they got in like this huge war over animal clothing. Yeah, they did. <laughs> so, so far, little spoilers about what's happening on with the story. 
what I've unlocked is that the humans have created a car that runs without gas and without electricity. So it's like another type of form. And then there was like a time rift portal that started opening up. Okay. Um, and people were starting to see like dinosaurs coming through. Okay. And then that. like as you're running around in the sewers or if you're running around at night, you'll see like, what the fuck? And you have like these dinosaurs coming after you. And you can unlock them later on. So you can and actually play as You can actually well. play as the dinosaurs awesome. too. <laughs> the dinosaurs came back as well. <laughs> yeah. So it's very, very, very Japanese. I mean, I got a video of it. I got some more videos of it. I'm going to get some more gameplay when I try to upload this, hopefully. Um, but that game's fucking fun. Nice. I like it a lot. Can I mention one more game that I forgot? And it's because I didn't play much of it. Simpsons? FTL. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I played FTL. Yeah, I played FTL. Yeah. Fun. I didn't think it was going to be. <laughs> I, 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 looked at the vi- I looked at the images that you had. So you bought it just because? Or yeah, no, yeah. a demo or something? Yeah. Well, no, there's yeah. no demo. There's no demo. Yeah, no, what, I, I, what I did was I was hearing about the popularity, so obviously I jumped into videos to watch what people were doing. And at first, when I first saw the, the original trailers... I didn't think it was going to be fun because it looked like a whole lot of micromanaging. What kind of game is it? Because I've seen it it's, on uh, Steam. A you're a spaceship. Like, yes. Eh. <laughs> you, you're, you have your spaceship that you control, yes. but you have to micromanage all the bits of yeah, the spaceship. All your subsystems. So you, and you also have like a crew. You'll start off with three. You always have to have one to be the captain to actually pilot the ship, and you can put the other two wherever you want. The crew can be different depending on what ship you pick initially and what crew you pick up. You start off usually with humans. To, well, with the first ship. You start off usually with humans, but you can pick up other crew members. And what you're doing, it's like very serenity? reverse. It's very reverse. You're part of a federation that is dwindling, and you're being chased by the rebels. So Captain Picard is being chased by Luke Skywalker. And apparently Luke Skywalker is the head honcho in this world. But what you have to do is you'll traverse through each part of the map, which is a sector of the world. And you have you can get a little bit of exploring done, but as you're doing that, this uh, rebel fleet is coming up through the map. So if you actually get caught by then, you'll have to fight with them. And usually, you're not going to win. You're usually wanting to just wait till your FTL gets sped up and you run, because the fleet will take you out. But you're doing this exploration map as you're trying to get to your other fleet to give them vital information. So each place you had the you had the the the, the layouts to destroy the dark. <laughs> the, the, yeah, you had yeah exactly <laughs> the Death Star, which you had the, layouts the to rebels destroy. have now. <laughs> yeah, the rebels have the Death Star now. Yeah, they have the Death Star. We were just on a coffee break and they took over. <laughs> But the game is basically a 16-bit top-down version of your ship. Yeah. You'll jump from of a point of the map to the point of the map. You can also pick up um, side quests along the way, and you so would kind of explore. You get new carrier, you get new crew members, you add them to certain parts. Yeah. Upgrade your ship. Yeah, you can upgrade your ship. So your ship usually starts off with like engines, weapons, and shields. But then you can also get like a cloaking device, or you can get... Um, um, oh yeah, it also comes with sensors, and you can also upgrade all these things. So you can upgrade your shields, your sensors, your weapons, all that. But you pick up like cloaking devices. You can pick up um, at least up to three perks that'll help you out, like boosted sensors, whatnot. But when you get into a fight, it's kind of like <laughs> that's what I. Every time I grab that, I cannot do that. I have a crowbar in my room. And every time I pick up that crowbar, I always have to do, like, the half-life hack. <laughs> and Liz will look at me, my wife will look at me and be like, what the fuck are you doing? I'm like, there's this game where you yeah, had a crowbar. I have to do it. I have to do it. Jump on my face. Yeah. <laughs> Quick, but, throw me that raw chicken. <laughs> <laughs> but um, you get into fights, and, of course, your weapons are kind of based on their own cooldown points, so they keep firing as you're going through it. And they're firing back at you, and usually you're getting damages to your system, so you're rushing to get those fixed. You can put a person on your weapons to make them charge faster. Um, it's actually a lot of fun. It turned out to be much more addictive than I thought, and I've played um, different variations through the game now. So yeah, it's a lot of fun. It's ten bucks. Yeah, it's it's micromanaging, but then it was ten bucks, and I was looking at it, and I was like, seems like in reading the description and seeing how it sounds like, I was like, what game was it? Uh, FTL. FTL. I think it stands for faster. Faster and light. Yeah, not fuck this. It's only yeah, it's only for, it's only for PC. So that's one thing I have noticed lately is like there's a lot of like console and a lot of indie games that are all on Steam and console and they're kind of expensive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, 
what's it called? Like Super Meat Boy and shit like that. When it came out on Steam, it was like what five bucks? Yeah, five bucks. Yeah. Now all of them are like fourteen ninety nine. Yeah. Ten ninety nine. Because that's the, that's the, the sub ten dollar ones. The I mean, ten dollar ones was the, and, and on PSN network and like Xbox network ten bucks ten bucks was the sweet spot. Yeah, you know, I was like, man, on ten PC, bucks. On and then Steam, they're like, it used to be the sweet spot was like five ninety nine, yeah, yeah. four ninety nine. Now it's all like nine ninety nine, yeah, fourteen yeah. ninety nine. I'm like, how much know? was Tokyo Jungle? I never knew. Fourteen ninety nine. Fourteen ninety nine. That's probably about the amount I'd want to pay. Yeah. yeah, and I was just like, you know what? From the videos that, because Jason was the one who turned me on to it at first, Tokyo Jungle. I was, and I was waiting like, for a physical copy. Is what I wanted. Yeah, you I wanted, wanted a cover. You wanted okay. to cover. The Pomeranian on it. <laughs> <laughs> and I was just like, I was like, okay, and I started watching videos, and it seemed really interesting. I liked it, and then there were like more talks. Hey, it's coming out. It's coming out. It's coming out. And I was like, all right, cool. And I was like, it came out. And I'm like, I'm fucking picking it up. And I picked it up, and then I I, I bought that, and I also bought um. Jet Grind Radio at the same time. Yeah. And Tokyo Jungle is like my game right now. And I'm just like, fuck yeah. What's it called? Finally came up for the beta. Uh, Doctor Who. Doctor yeah, Who. Yeah, I was just telling Mikey that earlier. So, but anyways, we'll continue on to. Was, that was pretty. I mean, I don't want to get too much into Tokyo Jungle. There was that. I, well, we did, though, but I, it's fine. I pretty much got a couple of games off of Mikey's account. Um, Walking Dead, you also played? I got Walking Dead. I got, real quick, I got um, Just Cause 2, which uh, was. Fucking old and funny and stupid and fucking pissing me off, but I'll probably Real actually goofy. I'll probably actually play that, which is funny. I like games like that. Yeah. Um. And then yeah, and I got Walking Dead, which we've talked about quite a bit. Um. But what's your take on it? How my, you liking it? My take on it. Uh, I was actually playing it with uh, my friend Brad, who doesn't game. He likes games, but he's never been a big gamer. He he, he likes play. watching games. He'll he likes watch he likes seeing the tech and seeing and like you, it's like okay. movie magic too. When he said that earlier about when Jason said about being able to that game is a good one to watch. It was that's why I put it on because I was playing Tokyo Jungle and I'm like fucking running around as a Pomeranian and he's like, you know, what the fuck are you doing? Yeah. Like he doesn't get it, you know? Yeah. And so I put on Walking Dead and it's like I hadn't played it yet except for over here at Mikey's house a little bit. And you know, I knew it was something that we could both just kind of like watch it together and you know, every now and then I gotta push a button or look at something. It's not like it's very, very low um, labor in terms of gameplay. Very yeah. low. And, and not in a bad way. Like, I kind of don't mind just sitting there and every now and then, you know, when you're, like, watching a movie and it gets all tense, you're pretty much sitting at the edge of your seat. Well, now it's like you got to just, like, Now you have to do something. Now you have to do you know? something, yeah. And I noticed, like, a couple of things. Jump out of your seat, fool! <laughs> <laughs> like, I haven't even finished the first one yet because we hung out and then he left and I stopped playing it for the time being. But um, he enjoyed it. He immediately hit up his girl who uh, isn't a big gamer, but she plays a lot of iOS games and immediately told her because it's on iOS. My sister... It already played them, played through them. She's not a huge gamer. She does play The Sims. I've told in the past about her Grand Theft Auto days where she liked to fucking shoot people over and over again fucking a million times. Mm -hmm. But she doesn't game a lot, but she hit up, she did play Heavy Rain, which she liked quite a bit. And when she asked me about it, I told her, you know, it's not the same thing, but it's in the same genre in terms of Heavy Rain. It's just like a storyline driven game. Yeah, that you, right. that you movie, interact with, yeah. Interactive movies, like, yeah, really yeah. good way to put it. And um, in terms of, you know, obviously I like, I'm a comic fan, I'm an artist, so the visual aspect I like a lot, it looks drawn. We've looks, read all the books, yeah. I read all the books, it looks like a moving comic book in a sense. Um, I like the tie-ins in terms of Easter eggs, like the first thing I noticed uh, was Herschel, which looked very different from the comic, but... Uh, in the you comic, recognize them, though. In the comic, they're, they come up on, come up on this farm... And this, there's a farmer who's super fucking cool. Who, he's got a kid, like a, a son and a daughter. And then they find out later there was another son that got fucking owned and is a zombie. And they've been keeping him in the, in the barn until the cure comes. They're thinking that there's going to be a cure to fix right, these people. Right. Well, every zombie they come across, they've been holding him. So eventually this fucking barn... I, don't, I, haven't, Which, I haven't that's, watched the series. Like, that's in the series also. In the TV show. I know it's... But it's also, I, it's I also written it. in the book, too. It's It's been written in the book I know it's that's different, before. But in the book, in the comic, which I've read, that's where I base everything off of. They eventually get out, and it's a problem, blah, 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 and that's where Glenn comes in. He, he ends up getting with Maggie, the, the daughter. Yeah. Anyways, long story short, in the video game, you're playing as this other guy, and it's almost like a prequel. So you see what, you know, Rick wasn't able to see because he was in a coma the whole time. Yeah. yeah. And what 
he runs across. I immediately recognize Glenn. Yeah. And he took off where he was going to end up in uh, Atlanta. Yeah, Atlanta. He was, he was stuck in the city. Yeah. And then Herschel, who is different than the comic, maybe he was. I don't know if he was more similar to the TV show. No, he's similar in the comic and similar in the com- in the, in the in TV the book. show. He was like a super cool like farmer. And this, he's wearing yeah, like a uniform. Very mellow. Yeah, and in the, in the video game, he's wearing a, a fucking uniform. He had a beard, and he was a dick. Yeah. He was a fucking big dick. Very true. <laughs> and then you see his son fucking get killed, and that's kind of like cool. Like, okay, I know now what happened, why his son was in the barn, blah, blah, blah. Uh, a couple interesting things real quick. Um, first off, um, I was going to say, well, one of them is really, really funny. The whole time, obviously, I'm playing, trying to play it like the good guy and pick the right fucking options. Pick the right options. When I got to fucking, uh, the, the, there's a part where... You have to choose between the child. The boy's on the tractor, and then fucking Herschel's son is, like, fixing the tractor, and something happens, and yeah. you're supposed to pick which one to go for. Yep. And I just said, fuck it. Fuck the kid, and I went for Herschel's kid. <laughs> and fucking, so what ends up happening is, is we try to save him. He he dies no matter what, and... Um, oh, okay. The kid dies too. No, the kid doesn't die. The, yeah. the dad goes for the kid, and then yeah. when the fucking Herschel starts flipping out, fucking, you have a choice to either back the fucking dad, like, hey, that's his kid or blame him and i just fucking pushed it dude and like i didn't tell my friend brad what i did so he's like you you let the kid or you know you let the boy die what did you do you know it starts blaming him so fucking he gets all butthurt and then later down the road once you're fucking like in a different area he uh he brings it back up during a storm he brings it back up he's like you know you had an option to say, no, man, it was your fault. And fucking same thing. I pushed it again. Like, you let that boy die. <laughs> and fucking Brad looks at me like, what the fuck is your problem, dude? I was like, it's his fault. Like, you know, the whole time I'm like super cool and shit. And then this one issue, like, you're a fucking coward. And like all this shit. And, you're right, man. And the guy's like, instead of like getting all in his face, he's like, you're right, you're right. It was my fault. You know, he gets all fucking guilty and shit. And every time I like look at his kid, I'm like, fuck that kid. <laughs> it was it was really cool. The game's good because you know it's it's basically going to end up in the same. Mm-hmm. You're going to end up in the same place. The game's going to end in a certain way. But all the little choices and stuff you get to make and see what Fun happens. And fun. they tell you, like, that person's going to remember this later. Yeah. Um, I did notice, and I haven't played it twice, so I don't know. But I'm guessing just from what I saw and from watching Mikey play the demo, uh, if you go out at night in the very, very beginning, you can go out at night or in the day. If you yes. go out at, in the day, there's two guys, you help them get away. Yes. And then the, one of the guys, when you get to the location, he's like, all right, I'll see you guys later. And he like leaves the story. Yeah. I'm assu- And I know Mikey told me that if you go out at night, that fucker gets owned. Yes. And he also leaves the story. So it's yeah. like, the story is going to go either way. He, yeah. The guy's going to leave, but it's like, how's he going to go yeah. out? He's going to get way? fucking yeah. space eaten off or is he just going to leave peacefully? And, and it's funny because like, once you beat that first chapter, it's gonna say, "You choose this, and these are what the percentage is of what everybody else chooses." Yeah, that, I love that. And I, I love that far, I don't think. One, Yeah, once you complete the first chapter, it'll show you what your choices are. Like you are forty percent on this, or fifty percent on this, sixty percent, you know, and it tells you, you know, or eighty percent of the people choose this, and yeah. you decide. And you're just like, oh, all right, you know, and it, it makes me feel fun. So yeah, I can't wait. It makes you feel fun. Yeah. It makes you no, feel it's fun. Cool. It's fucking cool. I like it. I like um I like those kind of games, honestly. Like, you know, I'm I'm I don't know what the fuck's up with Heavy Rain Two or if that company's gonna make anything else. Probably not. But I thought they were making they're another game, game I but I don't think they're it's making heavy something rain. else, but it's Either not. Either way, like too. I'm I'm ready for a game that's a little bit more in depth because it, it is a, a downloadable mm-hmm. game and it's a little bit more simplistic. Um but those games are kinda of fun. You know, they're they're not I like them too because people I know that don't game that much can play them and really enjoy them like my sister that's why, like she your really sister. loved Heavy Rain man she yeah. fucking went through it a couple times like I told her just put it on easy the only difference is you're gonna have to push less buttons yeah. cause your sister, your sister was texting me and she's just like she's like what about Walking Dead game she's like you know is it any good and I was like that game's fucking awesome and she texted me again and she's like well, you know, what should I get it for? Should I get it on the iPhone? I was like, no. She should have got it on the PS3, but she has to compete with her, her husband, husband who plays Battlefield. Okay. But so she got it on the PC. She got it on the PC, which she is probably the best way to get it because it's the iPad, easiest yeah. path. But on the iPad, I looked up the reviews on the iPad, and everybody said it is fucking glitchy as hell. The frame rate's not so The high. frame rate's not really good at all. So I told her, I said, don't get the iPad version. I go either buy it on the PC or buy it on the PS3. And she's like, "Well, Mike's always on the PS3." I go, "Well, you're home more than he is." Hey, that's whatever. She could have, she could have bought it, and yeah. it would have been an issue. That that was the thing, though, is when Brad, my friend Brad, when I told him about it, I was kind of like, 
his girl plays on iOS, and she plays a lot of like, uh, uh, just like random iOS games. Yeah. And I was kind of thinking like, well, I told him like the fucking, I heard that the iPad version isn't as hot as the other versions. It looks the same, but the fucking frame rate and shit. And I was like, that might be something they could fix in an update, but. They, and, and as it's, kind of, it's kind of like a disclaimer to him, you know. Like, as the story keeps coming out, it keeps on getting buggier and buggier. You know, like I keep on hearing people tell me that different things won't happen. Like on the last one, there was a point where I would exit the train. When I would exit the yeah, train, the, it, the camera the would go down. I remember it was buggy. This one wasn't that bad. The newest one's not that bad. So people were saying the I fourth one was I pretty like bad to try too. I would like to try on the, the five, okay. iPhone 5, but I just don't want to spend that extra fucking average right. money. 25 bucks, yeah. 25 bucks just to see. I don't know if that's really a problem, though. It's probably not a performance issue. It's probably just... Maybe it was ported over funny or something like that. Could have been. Very, yeah, very If that's the case, though, they'll fix it. So yeah. hopefully they do. We'll see. I like the series. I hope they, after this story ends, they just make a new story with well, some new people. Here's yeah. something for Vince, because I know Vince and I are both, we both Walking Dead fans, and we're both Fable fans. So the guys who are doing this are also doing Fables. Oh, is that the people that may, are making this game? Yeah, the people who made this game are also making Fable as well. Fables as well. Oh, they're making a fa- the comic fable. The comics fable. Yeah. They're going to make a series like this? Yeah. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. Fable. It's a comic book. That's yeah, amazing. Marvel fables. No, no, not Marvel fables. Not the Marvel ones? It's no, an th- independent comic. It's, it's Vertigo. A, okay. It's from Vertigo also, the same people who did um, Walking... The same people who published Walking Dead. And... The gist that, is... The, the thing is, is like, fables is going really big in the comic book industry, so that's why they made, like... Once upon a time, once upon a time, and they made um, under the underground kingdom. Okay. You know those TV more shows. Like a, more fantasy, like Snow White movies. Snow White movies and stuff like that. The the gist of the comic is is think of every like fucking uh, fable you ever heard of, uh, even if they're not attached to each other, or exist somewhere in some magical land. Okay. So well, it's some, like that show Once Upon a Time. Yeah. It, <laughs> and, see, that's uh, what I'm what saying. Is, is this but they they did a along, shitty. Hold on. Turns out, let me, let me, I'm gonna tell you the gist of the comic real quick. So this force comes along, which you find out later who it is. It's, like, pretty crazy. And starts fucking taking over all these fucking magical lands. They go okay. from, they're, like, far out, like, uh, Asian, fucking Middle Eastern fucking cultures. All of those exist. So they fucking escape to America or to fucking Earth. Okay. And they're living here, like, disguising themselves as humans. Okay. While all along fighting this battle back home in the Fable Lands. Okay. That's pretty much the gist of it. Yeah. It's very complicated. It's very epic. The Once Upon a Time show is fucking shit. The books are written. Oh, it's shit. It's fucking horrible. <laughs> like, I like that. Oh, I, I just, know. <laughs> I was just saying it kind of sounds like the same thing. Yeah, it, well, that's it's. What it, seems like. it kind of fits. It is. Like it's it, the exact same. Since that's been out, like more things have been happening that are like similar. There's yeah. Even a few comics that have been out that are similar, like yeah. the Grim Tales really, and shit like that. Really kind of seems to like just follow like, I don't know, like zombies or. Grim? Vampires. No, I mean, like, everybody follows, like, what's popular. Let's talk about the mass public. Yeah. The trend. Yeah. I wouldn't mind uh, more of that kind of stuff. And it, it, the, the guy that writes that, you know, what's really interesting is he just fucking encapsulates everything. Like, anything you ever heard of, like, in any culture can be a part of it. Like, it's potentially there. You, you like, makes um, connections. Jack being able Jack be quick. And Jack, uh, Jack and Jack the Beanstalks, of yeah, it's is, the is a Jack of Fables. Jack it's all the same guy. So he's one guy, he's a total fucking douche. Yeah. He's awesome, though. He's, <laughs> he's fucking awesome. He's a total douche, but he's awesome. Yeah. He's you know I mean, like, in, in the comics, he's 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 all the same guy. So Jack being nimble, Jack be quick, is the same guy who was Jack and the Beanstalk. Okay. And then, Jack um, and Jill. Jack and Jill, okay. he was the same guy. And then, like, Little Boy Blue, you know, he's a fucking, you know, somebody who's also... That's Rose Red, Red, Snow White, Rose Shere Red, Khan, Snow White, Shere Khan. And then, Aladdin. like, okay. the funny thing, here's the best part. Bad Wolf. They have the prince. And prince the prin- Charming. Prince Charming. So every chick marries Prince Charming. Yeah, everybody, okay. All the and Prince Charmings you heard of in all the different stories? One it's guy. Just, one guy. He's a gotcha. fucking player. <laughs> He's a dick. He's and barely a polygamist. So it's funny because all the chicks <laughs> will get to... And when you're reading the book, all the chicks will get together and they'll just talk shit and they'll be like, well, when I was married to him, he fucking loved me. And they're like, no, he was fucking having sex with me and da 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 And they're like... <laughs> they all, and then they're like, they all hate him. But the stories that they've written out, like the first one is basically like a detective who done it. Okay. You know, you, you have all these mystical characters. Uh, cre- uh, yeah, it was really like, it was like short-sighted. It was more like, you just had these people in, a, in like a Manhattan fucking uh, uh, apartment building with like a whodunit. Oh, but they also happen to be 
magical, magical, magical people from magical. the other land. Okay. But yeah. then the book took off. Yeah. And people loved it. And so then, then it, it was like, let's retake our lands. They want to fucking come find where the humans are, or where the, they call them Mundies, like where the fucking where they're at. And then it just fucking war starts brewing. It's so pretty fucking epic. Like. 10 books into it there's yeah. this giant war that's going on yeah, and you're right. trying to figure out what the fuck's going on and then once the, after those it's, books go on like you start going into other shit conventional uh, earth like uh, military like M16s and tanks versus fucking like going up beanstalks fighting fucking magical fucking creatures and shit it's fucking ridiculous there was a game like this it's really? pretty sick. very recent I have to think about the name of it but I'm there actually was a game excited like they're this. making a game and and with what they did with Walking Dead, it should fucking be awesome. It should be very close to yeah. the. To well, the it's shit. It could be I, anything though. It could use any stable. Because I mean, they didn't do that great of a job with Back to the Future, Jurassic Park. Back to the Future, it was neat. I liked it for its nostalgic purposes, like and it's it. mostly for its nostalgic purposes. Purpose of Jurassic like Park. audio, I didn't just kind of going back. Jurassic Park was. Before Jurassic Park. Right? Um, Sam and Max. Which I have all those. The I, PlayStation Plus, I played like the first one, and then I was like, this isn't that. You know what I will say, though, is if they do the Fables one, or they are going to, where it's going <clears> to <throat> fall short is, is that they're not going to be able to really put all that shit in there. No. You're probably going to follow maybe either a, a, a side character, or they might even just pick a fucking random character that's not really even in the comic. Yeah. Because it doesn't really matter. Like, it could be anything. Yeah. So it might be something like that, but at least you'll get the feel of like what it's about, and maybe people will like be inclined to go check the comic out because it's pretty fucking cool. Pretty the cool. comic's really good. I mean, like, here's a little quick thing: like, if there's somebody that's kind of human form, they'll have them in downtown Manhattan. They have this right. place in northern New York, which is called the Farm. Those are for the magical creatures who can't take a human form. They can't pass as humans. So yeah, they have to be pretty much put away and live in this place where. You can't fuck a talking pig and shit walking around, so they gotta put okay. him up on the farm. Okay. Yeah. So it, it's really it's like a witness relocation. <laughs> it's kind of, it's kind of You're a pig. Up. You're sitting on the farm. Yeah. Certain certain ones can like have magical powers on them. There's also this weird thing where, because a lot of these fables are fucking hor- horrendous bad guys, like yeah. fucking totem kind. Yeah. Who's the fucking the grandma from the fucking Hansel and Gretel tales and all the other fucking eating little kids and shit? Yeah. Well, anybody that comes over to here because of the fucking the Exodus. The, all their fucking shits pardoned. Okay. So the pretty like much people the big in this bad, apartment building. The big bag yeah. wolf. The big bag wolf is the police officer, and he's, he's the one like, who's. He's the he's the he's the little red riding hood wolf. He's also the little pig wolf. Yeah, he's the wolf in all the fables. And, okay. and what, the way they describe him in the comic is is that he was the run of the litter, and he slowly like tried to like make his ranks like by he saw a bug and he killed it. So okay. then he found a fucking kitten and he killed it. Then he like progressively gets higher up into where he like. He goes all the way. brothers until he's just feeding because his dad's like the North Wind, so he's like this magic wolf that can fucking blow shit down with his breath. Okay. And he's just like the most fucking insane. Like everybody's like scared of him. Yeah. And they gotta pardon him, and he's like he's probably terrorized like twenty five percent of his community. Okay. It turns out to be fucking really. He's like like you say he's a sheriff. Okay. But uh, yeah, it's just weird fucking way they go about like retelling these stories and. It's it's Interesting. really it's really really if, good. If it if the video game picked up to where uh, it, it did well enough, they could just make indefinite fucking episodes. They could, and it'd be really fun. Um. Anyways, we'll move along from that one. So we'll head into me real quick, and we've been going at an hour and a half already. So we'll try and this might be another three hour episode. <laughs> After we That's just fun. talked about this, we but just it doesn't got matter. Scolded for Mikey. No, I didn't get I'm scolded. Just kidding. <laughs> No, nowhere near scolding at all. Just a light spanking. <laughs> what I've been playing, I've been playing Battlefield Three. Went back and did some more of that, as always. Uh, played Tokyo Jungle, which we were able to express our opinions about on when Vince was talking about it. And then I also picked up uh, Jet Grind Radio. Jet Grind Radio. Or Jet Set Radio. Jet Set Radio. Which I fucking. It's, it's Jet Grind Radio, isn't it? No, it's Jet, Jet Set. Set. They named it the Japanese name. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like when we originally got it, it was Jet Grind when I it was see. on the Dreamcast. Okay. And it plays just like the Dreamcast version, and it works well, except the controls really feel stiff. Like you try to move around, and it's like okay. it's it's hard to get the character to move around the way you want them to okay. sometimes. 
but it's the exact same game. They did an HD version of it. It's widescreen. I'm watching it on my big screen TV, and it's fun, and I'm enjoying it. And I'm going back and having you know trying to remember and do everything pro properly. Um, the thing is though, is like certain it got to a point where I was like certain areas I couldn't remember. How the fuck do I get over there? This is like where the fuck is this one thing at? So I'm trying to remember. There was a path over here. No, this was something this. And I'm trying to get my way around it. And then once I realized I could, then I was like, time ran up and I had to do the level okay. over. And I went through the level like three times. And I was like, I'm not going to do it right now. I'll wait a little bit longer. Mm -hmm. um, when you go into the start menu or when you go into like the graffiti menu, it goes back to an SD standard screen. Okay. But then afterwards, it goes right back to really? an HD screen. Probably yeah. SD, yeah. For the cutscenes, yeah. Not not the cutscenes, just when they hit like start and through oh, the menu, okay. or like if you want to design your own graffiti, because you can design your own graffiti because in the game. Because uh, yeah, because if it's in a the three D environment, you could just set the resolution higher, where mm -hmm. it'll show more. But the menus are probably made at a fucking asset ratio that like you'd have to fucking remake them from scratch. Yeah, okay. I'm glad you knew the answer and I didn't. <laughs> because like I was just like the images. Yeah. yeah, it was just it's just kind of funny because you go back and then it goes right so back to full the screen. Resolution drops or just the size? The size of the screen. It just cuts the ends off. Yeah, yeah. you just have black bars make, on the side. They make it by for sixteen by nine. When it's like a three D graphic thing, like it's like when you're on your monitor. If you have a square monitor and then you like plug in a widescreen monitor, then you switch it to the widescreen. It could just fucking show the widescreen because it's rendering as it goes. Okay. Makes sense, but if you fucking had a two D or a, excuse me, not two D, uh, uh, full screen image, you'd have to make another one to make it widescreen. Ah. They probably didn't want to go back through and do that. Yeah. yeah. That's so, not a big deal though. Seems kind of lazy. But <laughs> um, once I got to the third map or second or third map, whichever one it was, you know, I was just trying to remember the areas, but it's still fun. Okay. You know, just skating around, um, tagging on stuff, seeing how, remember, trying to remember everything. Still enjoyable. I mean, if you had a question about, like, what the game was about, you know, go pick it up. I mean, for 10 bucks, it's worth it, you know, easily. I, I remember that game was pretty cool when I played it, but I, it didn't hold my interest enough, um, I think, to play too far. Everything I but... remember about loving that game was the second one. I never remember really the second one? Yeah, I think I always loved the music in the first one better. But the gameplay in the second one, I played the shit out of the second one on Xbox. Yeah. The, this, Xbox. the one for Xbox controlled a lot better. But this one, you can feel the Sega Dreamcast or controls when you played it. And it's just like, sometimes it's very stiff. Even though the Sega Dreamcast had analog sticks, yeah. it was still like... There's times when I was like, you watch my video play of it, and I'm going through, it and I go to skate, and I'm like, mm, and I get stuck. Stick something out. Okay. St stick or something. Out. Like I can't turn around properly. Okay. But, I mean, I just love that whole environment that it was, and it takes me back to when I was playing it the first time. I'm like, wow, this is fucking. It's also one of the first times I remember seeing cell shading graphics. Yeah. Which, which was, yeah, which was awesome. Yeah. It was technically, I think, the first cell shaded game. Yeah, I think was it was. It? Yeah. That doesn't surprise me. That's the first time I remember. I can the oldest guy I can think of. Yeah, it was yeah. either that or that cell damage game. There was a game called Cell Damage. No, nah, I think there was stuff on PS One. Wait, the actually, no, it could very well be because it came out on the Dreamcast. Yeah, yeah. PS One was out already before that. And then the thing was, the Dreamcast came out before the PS Two, and everybody was going. Either like, way, it was one that did it good. It looked yeah. fucking really good. I think good it was the, the first. Yeah, it was like that weird, like, still 3D, but it's like 2D looking. Like, yeah. if you paused it, it looks like, like drawing. Yeah, Wind Waker game, Zelda. Yeah. First, my first experience was so shitty. Um, I also started playing Lord of the Rings Online on the PC. You started? I thought you always play that. No. Oh, you play on That's an old game, game, right? You would know. Yeah. That's I old. don't play that shit. That shit's old, right? It's old, isn't it? That's mm -hmm. what I thought. You were always trying to get me to play that. Lord of the Rings Online? No. Well, again, I thought it was new, too, because it had that big old booth at E3 where everybody was playing. Uh, it's been around for years, I thought. I yeah. actually thought it I was... I thought you were trying to get me to play that shit because no? it's free to play or something? No, it's free. I was trying to get you to play Dungeons & Dragons. Oh. Yeah. D&D. D &D. D &D. Same difference. <laughs> Same difference. <laughs> How dare you, sir? Trying to so. get me to play Maple Story. Maple Story. And... I, RuneScape. I checked it out and I don't know, dude. It's it's hard. Like I was playing it and I was just like, 
It's having fun. It looks good. Right. It looks good for an MMO. So it's basically an MMO where everybody's trying to get the ring there or what? Yeah. <laughs> like everybody's after the ring. Everybody, 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 everybody has a ring. <laughs> I gotta take this ring to Mordor. I can't see anybody. That's because they're all invisible. They're using the ring. <laughs> I should play that game so I can walk as soon as I start off level one. Just walk out and be like, anybody know where to find a ring? Oh, fly me to Mordor. <laughs> one ring. I'm looking all for the eagle stop. Eagle. Where's the eagle stop? <laughs> I know how I can beat this game. I need an eagle. You guys think <laughs> Precious no is asking everybody where Precious is the whole time? Yeah. <laughs> Every person you come across? Fucking, but Max, uh, guy that we play with on Battlefield and a couple other games, he's been bugging me and he's like, "Come on, play it, play it, play it." And I was like, "All right," and I played it and I was just like, "Yeah," and we we're having some fun. And but the whole time, like, the game looks good and the game plays very well okay. until you go into a fight. Once you go into a fight, <laughs> like a typical MMO. <laughs> yeah, I go into a fight battle and I'm like the fighting the camera to get yeah. the camera to look right and then like i'm he's like why are you just standing there and i'm like because the fucking camera won't why do you think buddy why do you, you remember think? that you remember that conan mmo that came out yeah yes. i think it came out before that yeah i think it i think the lord of the rings was out before that one yeah it probably did for a long time and that's why it's free to play now but, but. It, i from what i understood it's it was at the time actually pretty decent and um, I, I'm surprised people still play it. And so it's obviously, always been free to play, though. No. So, I think no. It, at the very, very beginning, you had to pay. I think in the beginning, you had to pay. But I think early on, it went free to play. That Conan game was supposedly good, though, right? No. Same thing. I mean, it's, <laughs> honestly, it's probably one of the things where there's, there's certain aspects. There's probably certain aspects that were decent, but overall, it wasn't, no. Like, yeah. it's still wow. That's all there is to it. Like, people until play something it. comes along, we'll all know, because we'll all be playing it. As soon as the next thing that's better than what comes out well, I'm sure we're all gonna fucking what the, whatever they're working on next but yeah. that's yeah. whenever that happens until then no there's nothing obviously wow is still the way to go so Lord of the Rings I don't really recommend it's fun to run around and look at the environment and attack some stuff it like but it's still an MMO where like you're shooting a bear from far away then all of a sudden it's just like boom it's right in front of yeah, you yeah it's right there yeah, and you're just like eh and I, I, I can't do it so I also checked out the XCOM demo, and the XCOM demo, that game has changed so much since I seen it behind Heard. closed doors at E3. No, it's different. No. I, no, I saw the same thing. I was like, XCOM, what the fuck? That doesn't look anything like the old 50 styles guys, first person yeah. shooter. Total, to, totally two different games. They're making two games. Oh, okay. They're making this one, and then they're still making the other one. Okay, because I was... It's confusing as fuck. I yeah. looked on the internet for like 15 minutes before I finally was like, Oh, they're still making the other game. Yeah, if, yeah, you go to the, if you go to the XCOM website, it's like divided in half. It says XCOM, enemy beside or whatever. A XCOM, enemy, enemy. Yeah. yeah, and then the other side just says XCOM. <laughs> so then you get to pick which side you want to look at. <laughs> okay, because I was it's like... confusing. I don't know why they did that. Dude, because I was doing it, I was like... two games coming out at once. I was like, the last game... totally different games. The last game was like Bioshock, and they're running around, and (laughs) shooting his aliens. And you had to pick... And then, like, this one, it has the same mechanics. You can pick if you want... Who do you want to take? And I think the thing was is that people were so upset. The community, the hardcore XCOM fans were so upset and fighting against them. Maybe that's why they created the second one. Because they were sitting there going, like... I know a lot of people who are hardcore XCOM fans love the fact that you can, you know, pick and choose who you want to go with into a battle and where you want to go to. You can do the same thing here. And people were just, like, not buying it at all. And they were just like, whoa. Yeah, um, I actually was looking forward to the, the first person XCOM because I think it looks kind of neat. Yeah. And then I was like, what the fuck? Well, they totally redesigned the whole fucking game and everything. <laughs> and then I was, like, looking into it and I was like, oh, okay. But, like, that new XCOM that one just came out got really good fucking reviews from yeah. everybody. It's got better reviews than, like, Dishonored and anything else that's come out. Yeah, it's fun. And it, the, the demo was fun, and I enjoyed it. Um, <laughs> there's, a, there's a video I saw online of one of the developers, or the, the lead director, went to, like, a GameStop, and he was fucking with people just talking shit to him about, hey, buy XCOM, buy XCOM. It's pretty funny. He, like, tells this lady, he's like, hey, tell you what, I'll, I'll pay for half the game. He's like, I'll, I'll pay half the game. You just pay the other half, and you get a brand new game for half price. He's like, the game retails for one hundred and thirty bucks, so I'll give you sixty bucks, <laughs> or whatever it is. It's one hundred and twenty. I'll give you sixty bucks, and you pay the other sixty. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. He's just fucking with people in the store. That's funny. Um, I also been playing the shit out of Simpsons, 
And I've been loving the Simpsons games so much. The Simpsons oh, yeah. tapped out. The Treehouse stuff. Oh. The Treehouse of Horror stuff that's come out is amazing. Awesome. Um, it's very fun. Just like kind of trick-or-treating, being able to buy new stuff, have new features, just new skins. And it's this little simple game, but it's so much fun because it's the Simpsons. And, and it's a good... That's what's easy, really sucky it's a, about It's a really this. good, easy game with the Simpsons. Um, I've actually got the Springfield Downers now, the dog nice. race, and you can actually bet. Bet on the dog races. That's awesome. Bet on the dog races. Every hour you get to bet unless you spend like two donuts. You know, but donuts you have to buy, so they're yeah. a lot more rare. Um, what else did I play? I played some more Civ Five. I started playing Civ Five since I got my new PC up and running. And I've been loving that game again. And Someone told me that 4 is better. It depends. You know, depends on who you talk to. People like four because it was more of a micromanaging system. You can control a lot more. Where five making it a lot more easier to control. Where that's actually yeah. That's yeah. <laughs> so, but Civ five, I'm still enjoying it. Still having fun. Civ five is still the shit. Yeah. I also started playing Napoleon Total War, and that game tripped me out because they have three different games inside of the one game. Oh, nice. So, like, you have. The war aspect where you're controlling your different units and attacking in different formations. And then you have the sea battles where you can control different units and attack in different formations. And then you have a whole entire system that's like Civ Five, where you're controlling Napoleon as he grew up and controlling and attacking different areas. Okay. But I played just through the tutorial and the tutorial is not forgiving. Okay. It is fucking like straight up uh, slap in the <laughs> face, like if you don't fucking get it right, you're, you're you're dead. You're getting raped. Yeah. So with that, we're gonna take a break because I got to piss really fucking Me bad. Me too. I'm glad somebody so. else is feeling my pain right now. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll be back. You won't even notice we're gone. Okay. So we're back. We took a very short break this time because normally we'll take like an hour break sometimes. <laughs> but you would never know that. But you never know because we do it right after. That's right. But um. Also, I wanted to say real quick that. Indie Game, the movie, is on Netflix now for instant streaming. I highly recommend a lot of people watch it. It's a very, very good documentary. Um, also, um, thanks to the comments from Other Zinc and Untech Savvy with um, Other Zinc enjoying his box of wine or Bud Light, whatever he's drinking at the time, and he listens to the show. So... This show is brought to you, I forgot to tell you guys at the beginning, Fat Tire Belgian Ale, and what's the other one you got, Vince? It's a Laganitas Daytime, it's a, it's a session IPA, it's uh, awesome. I'm going to get that last piece, otherwise I'm going to eat it. I recommend that one, if you if, if you have any uh, craft beer fans out there, that like strong IPAs and shit like that. Me, this is a really good taste of the IPA. For me personally, I love that kind of beer, but sometimes it's they're too heavy, they're too too strong in terms of alcohol. And if you want to just have like a chill, tasty beer that's got a low alcohol content, and you know you can have a couple and not have to worry about it, it's fucking perfect. It's like they should just have it all the time. It is a seasonal or it's a spe- special release, but I hope they just make it all the fucking time because that's pretty much the beer I'd probably buy as a as a go to beer. Really good. So I'll put it in the show notes. You guys check it out when you guys go to. Lagunitas uh, in general is bomb, but this is pretty is that cool. the same brand as the sea turtle? Mm. No, I'm thinking of something else. No, nah. the sea turtle one is um something different. That's a Mexican beer. They have like a decent lineup, like their pale ales, Dogtown, I think it's called, and they have like an IPA, a double, little something, stuff like that. But I mean, it's like one of my favorites. It's a Calif- Northern California brewery, but um, I didn't, I never knew the the term session beer what that meant it just means it's a beer that's typically lower in alcohol uh so you can it's like something you can have like on a lunch break and not have to worry about being buzzed going back to work um why do you gotta worry about being buzzed it's just it's like it's like when we come here like i was thinking tonight like man tonight i can have like maybe an extra beer than i normally would because then i don't have to worry about with driving and shit like being too buzzed and shit it's like yeah but the flavor is awesome it's fucking perfect anyways this isn't a beer podcast, so... Which, our beer podcast that we're supposed to be doing, the fool's been lacking on. Oh, like with Tibby? Yeah. And we just kind of 
set it up, figure out what we're gonna do. He's all fucking about the poo tang right now. <laughs> worried about getting some poo tang instead of worrying about a beer podcast. A funny side note: he, <laughs> my roommate just bought a kegerator. A kegerator. That's the guy we're talking about. And he, he did a favor for a friend, and they returned the favor by buying a, a uh, not a full keg, but it's like almost it's like it's like one of the tall ones. It's not a pony keg, but bigger. Either way, it fits in a kegerator of a local brewery from Dale Brothers, so we got a thing of Pomona Queen at the house on tap, which is kind of nice. Nice. You still have some left? There should be some in there for a, more, a couple more weeks. It sh- typically should last a month, so at our house, we got about a two to three week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You guys drink a lot of beer at the house. <clears throat> still, it's cool. It's like, if, if someone stops by, it's like... You normally don't have beer. It's like, hey, you want, you know, you got a beer. But it's like, I still go and buy some beer here and there, like that, you know, something different. Yeah. Just cool to have. CO2 driven, it's refrigerated and shit. So it's a nice looking kegerator. Anyways, so um, on to the news real quick. We got kind of a short news list because we got a good set of questions from Untech Savvy that hit us up. What the news clip. How do you say his last name? Cliff Blazinski. 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 Yeah. Hey, Blazinski. He left Epic. Yep. So, he no Ex- longer... Explain who he is real quick, because I honestly don't even know. All the Gears of War games, he okay. made the Gears yeah, of War games. He was the chief... Uh, he was the chief programmer, designer, programmer. Designer or something like that, yeah. He, he was the chief designer or chief of the uh, of the Gears of War series over okay. at Epic. He also did Bulletstorm. Yeah. He's about our age. <clears throat> He's in his 30s. Early 30s. Yeah, I actually got to meet him once at that uh, match made in hell when Gears first came out. Nice guy. Drunk. Yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> but, you know, he was working on another game. I guess they were working on making something right now. And There is another Gears game, but I don't know if he was, that studio was heading it up or not. But most of the time we see Epic Engine, Epic Game Engine... He worked on a lot of that stuff, and basically they made the Unreal Tournament way back in the days. Okay. So he worked off a lot of that stuff. Is the Epic and Unreal Engine, like, tied together? Mm-hmm. Same company. Yeah. yeah. Same company. The engine is just called Unreal? Yeah. Yeah. But he finally decided to leave the company, go off, just take a break for a while. Yeah. He's been, he wrote in a statement saying that, you know, he's been gaming, making games since his early teens. And yeah. Yeah. You know, his 30s, which, you know, yeah, dude, take a break. Yeah, much ado break. Yeah, I mean, seriously, I mean, you don't need to go to another country and just be there for promoting your new game. Yeah. You know, go to another country and actually enjoy yourself. yourself. (laughs) But the funny thing was, too, is like a lot of people sitting there going like, oh, he's taking a break, oh, he's leaving, you know, and I was just like, well, he did just get married, too. He just got married. He's got a pretty good looking wife. I mean, he's just sitting there. I, I'm thinking maybe she might have had a little hand in it and be like, you should take a break. You got tons yeah. of money. Might have been his moment to settle down to. Yeah. I tweeted him. I told him, I said, you should become a consultant on the other companies. Just go in there and just tell them, you know, hey, what they can do. Chainsaws on everything. Chainsaws on everything. <laughs> <laughs> you need a gun. You need a gun chainsaw. Yes. Uh, also, with the news... God, well, where else were we talking about earlier? Well, there's a, also a new DLC coming out for Borderlands 2, I That's guess, right. next week. That's right. Um, it's a Pirate's Booty. I'm trying to actually pull up the name right now, but it's coming <clears throat> pretty quickly, actually. Yeah, it got announced, like, officially announced today, and it comes out next week. Yeah, yeah. Which, we weren't supposed to get the Mecromancer DLC until next week. This Yeah, we just got that, and too. And that came out early. Yeah, and I, I love this name, Captain Scarlet and her Pirate's Booty. Nice. Scarlet, huh? Yes. That's, uh, there was an old comic, not old, but from the 90s, and I think there was a pirate named Scarlet in that. Mm. Random. The guy that did Darksiders that, like, developed all the game, des- like, the character designs, mm. he, it was his comic. Oh, nice. His name is Scarlet. She was, ah. like, a total jug- juggalicious chick back in the comic 90s. And now she's in Borderlands. Also, with other news, just simple on our side of the news, we changed the design of the site, so anybody who comes to the site now... Yeah, I went to the site today, I saw that. I actually saw it the last couple of days ago. It looks nice. Yeah, Thank it looks you. really nice. I was kind of worried at first when I was... It looks more like a website. Just... Before, it looked kind of like a... 
like a bloggy or whatever. like a bloggy type out of the box type website that somebody you know like template type website looks mm-hmm. nicer now yeah it looks a lot nicer now thank you um, we got a new design symbol for no quarters required which we're going to redesign again it's just <laughs> <laughs> too little whatever fu- too little the final design is being redesigned I didn't capitalize a couple words whatever that's fine Get done. You know what's funny is once as soon as you mentioned that, then we saw it now. Well, no, the, what I was gonna say is because the issue is is that it says no quarters required, and I didn't capitalize the quarters are required the first letter of each word. Yeah. But for some reason, I capitalized no and o both of them capitalized, <laughs> and I can't remember why I did that. But there had to be some reason why it was like no quarters required. Like <laughs> I don't know why I did that. So I'm gonna change to where it's just properly capitalized, and the no won't be. All caps. It, it's just it's funny because like it's one of those things where you're working on something for so long, and you don't see the mistakes in it. Yeah. And well, like, it's the, the first time, the first time we designed Blank Your Game, you know, we're looking at it and everybody was all, "What's Boink what's, Your Game? Boink Your Game? Why is Boink spelled backwards? Or why something? is Boink? Why you guys say Boink Your Game? I was like, what the fuck? Talk about it's Blank. We Boink the Your Game. The brains are seeing this. Yeah, it was. But the thing is, is like I don't. I did that on purpose. For the for the no quarters because like I said, I don't know why it now but I capitalized no, the whole word. Mm-hmm. But then the uh, quarters required gaming podcast I didn't capitalize any of those. Yeah, and I can't remember why now I did that. Who knows fucking why? But so, I think maybe I was looking at the old logo. Was the no like in caps? Mm. Who fucking knows? Who fucking knows? It looks pretty good though. I think it looks decent. It looks we I really like the design a lot. You know, Draven likes the design. He just said, you know, I've actually thought he goes only thing just the Q and R yeah, maybe that should be kind of with with stuff like that where things are like a misspell or a fucking <clears throat> punctuation things mess up. Actually, I mean no no promises or anything, but I kind of got another idea for the Blank Your Game logo that would be similar but a little bit updated. So maybe I'll fuck with that a little bit. Cool. I'm always down for new shit. So I yeah. know Ryan's. Looking to start up his little thing. Yeah, eventually, guys, it ain't open yet right now. But uh, there is howiplaynow.com, but it's not open yet at all yet. So yeah, I haven't. We'll be sitting on. I have it linked on the show notes to his name, so yeah. you guys can check it out. But like we said, there's nothing yeah, there. It's right completely now. locked anyway, so you're gonna come to it to see a big lock code right now on it, anyways. A lot. Not harder, just a lot more time consuming than people think. Oh, I bet it is. That's why it's taking forever. Yeah. That's why I haven't mentioned anything yet, guys. But um, eventually, I mean, you can go to it now, but it's not even open. But it's it's cool. It's at least a driver for you to, like, kind of talk more about it and kind of get an incentive to, like, hey, that thing you're talking about, like, let's get it going, you know? Yeah. I'm actually, like, to check that out, like, personally, like, to see what you're going to do with that. Yeah. Yeah. I can't wait for it either. We're going to fucking boost the shit out as much as we can. I'll show you guys the numbers a little bit later. (laughs) <laughs> um anyways uh to all those who are listening what else we got on news here uh, assassin's creed's coming out here real soon mm-hmm. and i'm gonna be picking up the ps3 and the vita version i picked up um sleeping dogs for 40 bucks so i'm happy about that i picked up a bunch of other games um unit 13 okay um i picked up god a couple other ps ps vita games that I want to try. I think the Resistance game I picked up as well for ten bucks. So, but, um, yeah. There's some other news here. Uh, PlayStation Store getting redone. Yeah, that's right. There's a revamp of the PlayStation Network Store. So they're changing it over. If you have a UK account, you can log into your UK account and probably check it out. See how the new revamp's gonna look like. It's supposed to look more like the Steam store, Steam Big Picture, Xbox store. And when they first told me Xbox store, and I was just like, no, I don't really want it to be that way. But it it looks nice, but still. PlayStation well, store's been fucked up for a long time. Yeah, yeah, to be honest, I never really even thought about it until you mentioned it, that they're going you know, to change it. But honestly, the store is kind of annoying. Yeah. It's kind of a pain in the ass. Some of it now is becoming way... You're right. They the can't, searching they can't for things. Change their, they can't make up their mind. They're constantly switching stuff and just making like categories. And... Yeah, it is a little bit hard to navigate when you're looking for certain things. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. I was really surprised how fast it was to find the Tokyo Jungle uh, DLC because normally I'm like fucking looking everywhere. And yeah. I went to like 
I, uh, add-ons. I went to add-ons and it was like one of the newer things, so it popped up right away. But normally, I'm like, I like Jason was saying earlier. I don't know if that was it should, yeah, it was Jason, yeah, for recording when he said that. Yeah, when it said it should be under the new releases, and it was just hard to yeah, find. It's just hard to find. Yeah, I don't think we're. But see, you, uh, I got the game through. Mikey's account, so I didn't have to go search for the game. I just went to downloads on his account. Oh, okay. It used to be to where a new releases showed all the oh, DLC, nice. individual DLC. So you go to new releases, it would show all the games. It would show everything, everything that, that was, was new. put on the store that day. Yeah, everything, exactly. videos, which DLC. I liked because you could go through yeah. and see. You know, even if I don't have the game, it's like I know it's out, yeah. and then there's yeah, all these new yeah. things in there. Now it's not like that. Now it's game strictly, and then you still have to go hunt for DLC or. Hunt for new videos or... I don't know what the fuck. It I guess the point is they probably can't make it too much worse. Yeah, it's so. pretty bad. One thing, next E3 or whatever the fuck we go to, I'm complaining to somebody at Sony <laughs> that we need a fucking way to sort the download list on the fucking PS3. Yeah. Because how the fuck am I going to download all my little Big Planet fucking shit over again? It has I'm going to go. have to go sort through all fucking yeah. 900 downloads just to fucking find the little... Little big plan ones and click on that one. I can should be at least able to sort by game, sort by or fucking, offer it through the game itself. Yeah, well yeah. they do offer it through Big Plant, Little Big Plant. But like I just use that example. But some games you're like, oh, I could have sworn I bought that game. Let me go look through fucking four years of fucking downloads <laughs> and try to figure out what month I bought it and what year. Well, they're in chronological order, if that helps. Yeah, so you can like look up the release date of the game and then maybe go back. But it should be easier than that. Especially if you're looking for specific download or DLC that came out for a game that you know you bought at one time. <laughs> Fucked up. Other news we also found out about is um, Rockstar Collection Episode 1 pack. Is yeah, Episode out. 1 pack. Episode 1. Mm-hmm. want to emphasize on that because that's a really great title. Um, it's going to be Midnight Club, L.A. Noir. Red Dead. Red Dead Redemption. And it's going to be Liberty City uh, Stories. 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 Yeah. All of them? Or no. two of them, right? Liberty City Stories is the PSP one. Oh. Yeah. No. I'm seeing the, I'm yeah, seeing the Lost of the Damned. Yeah, that's, that's the picture Grand Theft Auto. Oh, I'm sorry, Grand Theft Auto 4. Episode, it's called yeah. Episodes from Liberty City. Yeah. Episodes from Liberty City. Which I'm assuming is going to be the DLC for 4. Yeah. 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 There's two, right? Yeah, there's the Ballet Gay Tony and the Lost of the Damned. Which... It's it's a, gonna that's be, a pretty cool pack, but I already own all that shit. Yeah, so and honestly, really apply to me. I don't want to play Midnight Club. I Midnight Club, I, yeah, I, I played El Noir to an extent because it was cool, but I didn't hold my attention enough to actually want like want to beat it. And I played the shit out of Red Dead. Played the shit out of Red yeah. Dead. But if you know, you know, if you're a Rockstar fan, you just didn't happen to pick up these games. That's a hell of a pickup, right there. Yeah, yeah. I'd say if then you never you're not played, a fan. Then you're, well, you never know. Somebody <laughs> just may not have the money. I'd say if you've never played Red Dead alone. Mm-hmm. Pick it up because yeah. then you get the other shit. But Red Dead alone is definitely worth it. So the the thing is, though, is for like let's say the the sixty bucks or whatever, the, fifty bucks, yeah. fifty nine ninety nine. But the Grand Theft Auto episodes from Liberty City are those going to be like standalones now? Yeah. So you don't have to have GTA no. Four. No, I have the physical standalone copy. Yeah. Oh, they are standalone. Yeah. Oh, that's right. They came so out, you on disc. Buy them out on disc. You didn't have to have your other game. No. Okay, that's pretty Just cool. Just like they did with Undead Nightmare. Undead Nightmare, and they also did with um. To do what? So you got Undead it's Nightmare. Not a, it's not a Rockstar game. Yeah, it's got just Undead Nightmares by itself. On and you couldn't play the regular game. No. It's fucking cool. It's cool though. It came yeah, I like that. Cool. Yeah. Lost. yeah. The guy from... Infamous? Infamous. Oh, yeah. They did their... Infamous, yes, the uh, Vampire Night one. From Infamous 2. Pretty cool. Some of the games are making them now where they don't have to require the the, the actual game for the DLC. Yeah, if you make yeah. more money like that. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, well, mm-hmm. they should be cheaper right off the bat compared to a whole game. And in terms of like the Gay Tony and Lost in the Dam, those two games together, they're still not a full GTA 4, but they're like well over half of one. You know what I mean? At least a half of GTA 4. Mm-hmm. And the fact that you could go over the entire same map as you could in the whole game... And if you really liked it and never played GTA 4, then there you go. You have you can go fucking find a cheap copy of that. But it's set to release this November, which is pretty mm-hmm. shocking because, you know, it all got outed games, out by retail. and All those games are already fucking made, though. I mean, all they got to do is put them on a disc. Yeah. And yeah. Sure to, there's a menu to select which one you want to play. But what they should, you know, there's no advertisement for it. That's what I'm trying to say. Oh, I'm sure. 
They don't need to advertise those games. Well, yeah, I mean, they're in the there's, store. There's no... Be in the store this Christmas. Be like, oh, Jimmy lo- little Jimmy loves that shit. The only cost you have is just making the discs. No, but to, to let people know that it's coming out. Like, you know, you, just to tell us now, yeah, we're going to find out, but we're, you know... Well, real gamers who would be like, oh, i got to reserve that shit, already played all those fucking games. If they're basically putting that out there for... The people who missed them, or the people probably who... at the bare minimum, they'll at least pay for the yeah. the reprinting, and then anything yeah. after that, just all pure profit. It's just I'm trying to make a quick buck. But it is I do know a few people that haven't played uh, Red Dead, or maybe just recently started playing, and probably should have waited. Now it's too late. Like you haven't played it, right, Ryan? You haven't played Red Dead? Yeah, yeah. You have? Yeah, yeah, I have it. Okay, I played that and the uh, Undead Nightmare. Okay, must have been someone else I'm thinking of. Um. What? Anyways, with that. You know, there's other news that's been going on, but nothing really too, too major. He's playing his Simpsons game right now, so he's... <laughs> there's, like, some news? shit out, but, like, hold what on. What news? Let me click on these coins real quick here. I no. would like to add on that um, the game I backed up on Kickstarter, Starlight Inception, um, is actually just um, finished a deal with Sony, so now there's going to be a PS3 version coming out of it. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Yeah. Do you get that version for free? No, you can actually get. Well, I the only well actually when it comes up, I get to choose whether or not I want the PC, the PS cool. Vita, or the PS3 version. Oh, wow. So I actually get to choose which one I want. It's not so, like Minecraft where you back out on it. Yeah. <laughs> so is it like? Um, there wasn't a lot of game footage, right? Initially. No, there initially never was. Yeah, there was just footage. a CG video. Yeah, it was all concept. Video. Yeah, it was all concept video. There's nothing now yet, or as of this point, I mean, on my site when where the uh, actual. Founders go to to go play, you know, to go look at stuff. Right now, there's a lot of art out. Okay. They, they finally got the uh, the finalization of the ships, but nothing else. Okay. You know, they've got the art drawn down. So you're probably still looking like, at least a couple of years. Yeah, it's, it's actually the release for it is going to be August of 2013. That's not too bad. That's at least what their intended goal is. Mm. Mm. It's, it's cool, though. Like, even though I'll probably never play that, it's cool, like, that you, <laughs> even though I never play your fucking <laughs> no, it's cheap cool, ass. It's game. cool that like you. I first heard of that when we first it was very early episodes of the like your game when you start talking about that, yeah. and it's like pretty much kind of forgot about it, and then it keeps popping up. It's like this shit's gonna happen, and it's kind of cool to see this progression. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and when especially it was like kind of neat to see that they got a finalized deal with Sony to actually put it on the PS3. I did watch um, when you first saw it. I did watch the I think the, the initial video, video or yeah. something of the guy. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of interesting to see it from that angle. Because normally it's like, fuck, dude, who knows how many ideas that are good or bad that get fucking made or not made, but it's like, that Kickstarter thing is a whole other level. It's like, you can get the idea, and it's like, we just don't have the money to show anything, but we have, we think we have a good idea, and if people yeah. agree, then they fund it, and then it's like, now... Well, the funny thing about them is they originally did have the idea, and it was ported for a PSP. They had originally grounded, but it got scrapped, so that was this was their way of getting the to reinvigorate it, to get it actually up and out, and for them to update it. So yeah, it's been completely gutted and reported for the Vita and PC. Hmm. So, you guys up? Yeah. yeah. All right. I wanted to hit up uh, one of our listeners. He's a good. Um, starting to become a good friend. <laughs> he's, a, he's a good listener. Good listener. He's a good listener. You're a good listener. <laughs> You're very good. <laughs> um, one of our buddies, Untech Savvy. Untech Savvy's been following, you know, the Blanker game. He's also been following the No Quarters Required, and he's been hitting up us with how questions. You, and he's how like, you know, him? is he just straight from listening? Just straight from wow. listening. Okay. Yeah. That's cool. Added us on the PSN and. You know, he hits it up. He's like, hey, just, you know, listening to the new show. You know, thanks for answering my questions. And I'm like, cool. You know, no, no quarters. And uh, asking, even on here, he hits us up and he's like, you know, thanks for answering my questions. And I go, okay, no problem. I go, do you have any more? And he's just like, well, give me a minute. And, <laughs> give me a minute. And the That's guy awesome. was the guy was on a drunken rant, but he had some good questions. You know, he was, he was all hopped up on the Bud Light, but he had some good questions that hit us up. So, I, and I emailed them out to everybody, especially on the No Quarters and this one, and we answered them on the No Quarters, and I said, well, I want to make sure that, you know, the Blanker Game guys had something, you know, because I wanted your guys' opinion Yeah, I, know, so, I don't know if it's the same person, but I know someone, like, asked something that I had said something, and I fucking cannot figure out how to fucking log in and comment back on that kind of oh, shit. Oh, that was, um, 
uh, other zinc. Other zinc asked you a question. Is like, what games do you buy? And I had to log in, and I I told like, Mikey my answer and had him do it for me, pretty much, because yeah. <laughs> I couldn't figure that shit out. And then I changed it over that he posted it, but he didn't. Okay. But I did. I did. I did text did. Mikey my answer. Yeah. So, um, with the questions, he's got about six questions on here, and I answered the sixth question is kind of you know kind of personally towards me, and I've answered it on the other side, but I'm gonna answer it again. So, um, first off, on the first question. You know, with the talks of the new PlayStation coming out, um, if PSN, not PSN Plus, PSN Plus is the one service where you have to pay extra 50 bucks a year for, what if PSN next generation is you have to pay for it to go online? Do you guys think this is going to happen, and would you guys play for it? So, um, I guess, I'm sorry, I'll just start uh, off. Uh, I think it. that you might know this better than me. If PlayStation Plus is done well enough, mm-hmm. I could see them just saying fuck it and make it across the board and then as long as they offer the same things that playstation plus offers maybe more mm-hmm. um i i'm gonna kind of be forced to do it but as long as they do that i'll be happy but you know i prefer like a monthly or excuse me a yearly uh fee i wouldn't want to pay a monthly thing i don't mind the option like on xbox i always paid the eight dollars a month because i was never sure uh, which month you're gonna be playing yeah that. and you know i just whatever but yeah i mean if i've contemplated getting the PlayStation Plus quite a few times. I had the 30-day free. I liked it. Um, if it wasn't for the fact that I could get a lot, I think, through Mikey's account, I'd probably maybe get it. I'm not sure. But the, the bottom line is, is that if that's the only option, then yeah, I'm going to get it. Well, the one <laughs> I, thing is, what like, am I going to do? I download all the games because I go, I have you in my mind. And I'm like, well, you know, Vince might like want to play this or maybe I might want to play this later on when I'm down the line with my PlayStation Plus account. But the one thing you're missing out on which I think is a great feature, is the cloud save feature. That's why I want it, because of that. That's the main reason I was thinking, like, fuck, you know, I, I just had to get a new PlayStation a few months ago or however long ago, and that would have saved me a lot of hassle. Mm-hmm. But overall, it wasn't that big of a deal, because, like I said before, um, you know, I'll play the shit out of a game, but there comes a point where I'm probably not going to go back. I've never really been a big, like, um, like backwards compatibility. It doesn't really, like, yeah. it doesn't issue to me, you know, like... It always seems like a good idea. As soon as I start playing these games that I used to play, like it's like, ah, oh, this is fun, but fuck, like I want to play something new, you know? Yeah. But like I said, that that option is the main thing I've thought of in terms of why I'd want the PlayStation Plus. And there is a lot of shit that, like, if I could play for free as a demo or a free download, I'd probably play more because it's free. But I typically won't spend money to play a lot of games a year, all around. So I mean, personally, like, yeah, I mean, hopefully it's not exorbitant price i mean i don't know if there's any rumors that is anybody saying that that's what's going to happen it, well people are saying it they're just rumors but nobody knows for sure because i can't see why they would need to like what would happen. be much different it won't happen why are you so sure because Jay? it doesn't really seem like they need to when uh, xbox came out and they charged were charging for their shit i mean the old xbox charged for their online yeah the new yeah. xbox charged for it PlayStation came out and it was free. Everybody was like, oh, it's free, but it's shitty compared to Xbox Live. Which I can never understand well, what was so shitty yeah, about it. Back I then, problems. I mean, yeah, whatever. But nowadays, I mean, it's obviously better. And it's mm. fucking free. Or not better, but it's obviously at least I don't know equal. much. I can't tell much different. I always find people online with the games I play. Yeah. I have connection issues that are, like, I think mainly on my end in terms of my fucking cable provider. Yeah. So, so overall, it's free. I don't, it's yeah. free now. People still have to play for Xbox. Xbox isn't gonna be saying, "Oh, we're fucked up. We're just gonna let you guys. We'll just give it to you for free too." They're not gonna go back on what they did. Sony's making enough money off of PlayStation Plus that it's how a lot of people have PlayStation Plus. Yeah, a lot of people like it. It's actually a bargain now. It, it when is. When it first started out, it was okay. It was kind of iffy. Yeah. It was yeah. kind of iffy, and then it got shitty for a couple months, and now they're kicking ass on it, and people are like. Yeah, I mean, and that's the thing is that if, if, if they, they got they got two year subscription out of me. That's a hundred bucks they got out of me so far. Yeah. Well, the thing is, if they if they keep it like how it is, and they take someone like me that's on the fence, and they make it mandatory, like but with the same features, I'm probably not. I'm probably gonna be cool with it because I know I'm gonna probably play more shit, free stuff, free. Like I'm dumb. Dude. I like. I mean, I'm not dumb. Everybody's like like a lot of people like this, but I like fucking dynamic fucking uh, themes. themes and. We're, you know, fuck it, you know, like, I like to just download them and check them out, most of them suck or whatever, but the, just the option to do it for free, you know, is kind of cool, and uh, the discounts and shit like that, and 
I don't think they'll ever charge for PlayStation but Basic. But this is another issue. Uh, more games like Battlefield are doing the... Uh, premium service. The premium services. So if that but, starts to become a trend plus that, now you're looking at, fuck, now they're going to like be dragging more money out of me. Yeah. Now, yeah. somebody else brought that up when I was when I was talking about it on the other show. They were saying that I, I was playing with these guys on Battlefield, and I said, well, they're talking shit about PlayStation Plus, and then they're talking shit about Battlefield Premium. And they're like, well, I might be picking up Premium this week. I'm not sure yet. And I was like, well... If you pick up premium, that's the best way to go because you get all your DLC packs. If you're going to buy them anyways, yeah. You might if, as well. if you plan on buying a DLC pack, save the extra money and get the premium because you're going to get all the DLC packs and you get, you know, extra guns, extra commands, extra, you know, features that you get to play with. And, they're, and, I, and I was trying to explain to them the benefit of, you know, PlayStation Plus and I said, you know, it's, you're paying 50 bucks a year. They give you so many free games that you get to have, play with. Plus the discounts when you buy a new game, mm. plus like free add-on content. Yeah, depends if the publisher wants to do a free add-on content. You get free add-on content for a game. So say maybe you get free on add-on content to a game that you might not want to pick up. Now you're interested in picking up the game now yeah. because it's free. Yeah, you're like, well, I'm getting fucking twenty bucks worth, and the game costs ten. Yeah, or the game costs twelve, fifteen bucks. I mean, PlayStation Plus is a good deal, I guess, but. A lot of the shit that they give away for free, I already own. So, I mean, it's not that great we of a deal. We already own. For me yeah. and you, but I mean, for a lot of people, it's a great deal. For me, personally, it's an okay deal. Because most of the shit that they put out, I already fucking got. Yeah. Like, I uh, mean, it, it's it's four bucks is, a month. Which is really right now. Uh, four dollars really a now, month. Now, I'm sitting there getting to the point where I'm not even buying games right away. You know, I'm sitting there some... PSN games, I'll sit there and wait and be like, oh, I'm not going to pick it up right away because I know it'll come out free later on. You know, the other game that just came out, fucking The Rock, it's like a top down shooter game. You know which one? It looks like a Rock 8 bit of game. Ages? No. No. No, that's a musical. No, there's a game. Though. No, Rock of Ages is also a game. It's also a musical. Yeah. <laughs> Starring Tom Cruise. It's it, wasn't the, it wasn't a zombie one, right? No. It, anyways, it's an 8 bit. And basically, I was planning on picking it up because you're playing it, and it's not literally Ninja Turtles for the NES, but it's like the exact same oh, level for Retro Ninja. City Rampage. Retro City Rampage. I'm going to pick that up because Draven was telling me about it. He said he played it at like WonderCon, or he played it at yeah, the head of D3. At you know, and he said he liked I've it a lot. Didn't like that game since it came out, but I might actually pick it because I don't like the I don't like people cashing in on fucking. The fact that something's retro and then putting in all this, like... Homage like, to it. Homage to it. And, like, oh, look at this. We got Ninja Turtles. We got Back to the Future. And we got this. And it's just basically... We got the skate park. It's like a fucking... It's like you did what's already been done. Yeah, rehashed. it's like... You just rehashed it. Yeah. You just went and, like, got a bunch of pop culture and made a game about it. And then, like, oh, yeah, that's fucking super cool. But I might pick it up just so I could play it and then talk shit on it. Because I don't <laughs> like to be a hypocrite. Yeah. But... Plus, it's it's actually uh, I could play it on the Vita. I don't have to play it on the PS3. And you get both if you buy the one. I was actually gonna buy it when I bought Tokyo Jungle. But so, what? How do you weigh in, Ryan, in terms of paying for online yeah, service? service? I it, mean, you, I I could already guarantee you you would pay for it. Probably not, actually. You wouldn't. I don't know. Um, if it was integrated into the PlayStation Plus service, yes. But if I'm paying for two separate things... Oh, yeah, yeah. That's a whole other no, thing. No, no, that's no. what I'm saying. It has to have... It, yeah, needs it has to be, to be integrated. If I'm paying for PlayStation Plus and to I be wouldn't on the either. PSN I network, guess I should be clear. Absolutely not. If it's two separate things, you know, I, I better get a fucking... I better get a benefit like PlayStation Plus at least to pay an yeah. extra monthly fee. I said, you know, don't even charge... If you're going to charge for PSN, don't charge a $50 amount. No. You know, be stupid. 20 bucks. If they charge 20 bucks for like a year... You pay twenty bucks for a year just to keep the servers up and running and maintenance. You know, fine. I would fucking pay twenty bucks plus the fifty bucks. For if plus. I knew that they well, really had the a difference between issue. the PlayStation though and the Xbox, though, is because Xbox all Xbox Live's games run on Xbox servers. Yeah. PS yes. PlayStation Network isn't like that. That's yes. why Atlas is like, we're taking down the Demon Soul servers. Yeah. That's why. I mean, it's free because they fucking pay for the server. Yeah. yeah. And it also is better because developers can patch their own shit or do whatever the fuck they want on their servers, and a lot of developers like that. 
But yeah. I was just thinking, you know what? I don't think they will change anything because this this fucking generation of consoles, I'm pretty sure, I'm almost positive that all the store is just going to carry over. That's all nice. in place. Why are they going to fucking... <laughs> Why are they gonna fucking like even go m- r- messing with it? I mean, why fragment the market? <laughs> I got proof of that. You swing a crowbar when you yell at it. Some podcast. <laughs> Just took a picture of. Sorry, I was trying to interrupt. So like they can't they can't say okay PlayStation Three guys your store's free, or your fucking basic gaming online's free. PlayStation 4 guys, you guys shop from the same store, but you got to pay for your shit. Well, technically, Xbox says the silver account you can play online. You just can't play with your friends online. You just can't play with your friends? What the fuck? Nah, that that silver thing was bullshit. I mean, I didn't even, like, when I first got my Xbox, I was like, Well, they changed it since you first Yeah, but at the time, I was kind of like, what, like, you kind of forced, if you want to play online, you had to get the, pay the monthly fee. So it won't change because we're gonna when the PlayStation Four whatever comes out, we're still gonna go to the PlayStation Network store. We're still gonna be able to probably look at PS Three games, PS Two games, Vita games, and all that shit. And they're not gonna be like, "Hey, you have to pay for your stuff." If they don't transfer over their games, I want my name transferred over. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure all that. I want shit's my PSN. I, I want my PSN ID to I'm transfer. I'm sure all over. that shit's gonna happen this time around because I mean. Last generation, PS2 and Xbox, there wasn't really a store in all uh, Online, a store network, yeah. On there Xbox? Was, I mean, there was downloadable content. There was for SOCOM, there was for uh, Final Fantasy. Yeah, but it was all free. And, and was it all access to the game, too, No, right? SOCOM was not free. Was it? No, SOCOM, SOCOM was free? No, SOCOM 3 for the PS2, for the downloadable content, you had to pay. That was, a, yeah, every, everything else was, but that was like the first time they ever had any type of DLC. Yeah. And you had to have the hard drive and shit to do yeah. it. So you had and to pay I for did. that, and you had to pay for the, the download and I did, shit. And I did. But that was like the very end of that era. Everything else before that was free. And then on the PS2 and all that shit online, you had a different name for like every game. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Xbox was probably the same way. Yeah, I was Kill, Kill, Kill on like, SOCOM, even though my... Yeah. Well, you didn't have a PlayStation yeah, uh, no online s- thing at the time. There was no store or anything. It, it'll carry over this time, so I doubt anything's really going to change. Is our, our accounts are going to carry over? They should. <laughs> they better, right? They better. <laughs> yeah. shit down. How, how yeah, pissed off know. are people going to be if their shit doesn't carry over? Their fucking achievements and all that shit? Mm. I don't well, know. Our how trophies. easy would it make... How, how easy would it be for them to just make sure that shit carried over? No, you're right. At the same time, yeah, I might We've freak out, got... but after the other shit comes out, like, it's really hard to say You've how much I'll got care Vitas later. and all that shit. Yeah. With trophies. They should, honestly, they should. But if they I didn't, mean, I might cry for like a week and then I I'll mean, get over it. <laughs> they want to keep something in place like the iOS store where you can get iPad after iPad after iPhone after iPhone and always use the same apps. And you always have that catalog of shit you bought on the iPhone store. It'll carry over, so I don't think it's going to change at all. I think they should do it just because there's no reason not to. Yeah. At the very least. Stupid. So, um, stupid stuff though. On to the next question. What if they inter- reintroduced the Batman Boomerang controller for the next control console? What do you mean? Um, what Read the PS- whole question. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sorry, the whole sorry. Whole is this actually his or did you write this? No, this is actually this his. This is his. He was sorry. <laughs> sorry, I was like jumping all. What? Adding to what if they changed the controller. Uh, media hated the controller, but now the public is back on Batman's bat dick. <laughs> Would you buy it because of the controller? Okay, they're bat 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 on bat bat back on Batman's bat dick. Yeah, who is everybody? Everybody's Are on they? Batman. Apparently. Why? Ask him. <laughs> Batman. Batman's big now. You know they're even the, though he just the, yeah even talking about new that silver crescent shaped yeah. controller yeah the boomerang the boomerang controller. I. Uh, I'm sorry like, to jump it, in the first question as the first answer again, but, like, why fuck with it? It's, like, been so reliable, why fuck with it? Here, here. And the 360 is honestly not that much different than the PS3 controller. It just looks different, but all the buttons are in the same place. Don't fuck with that either. Just leave them how they are. Until there's a, we need another button. Well, the 360 needs a new fix on a D-pad. Their D-pad fucking horrible. Yeah, I'm they saying do that. do now have that. That doesn't. The positioning is the same, though. People I mean, even. Triggers are in the same that, place. So it doesn't really matter. But. Until we need another fucking button for some reason, just 
why? Like, leave it alone. We're so used to it, you know? Like, I don't like the fact when I go from, like, one shooter to another one, they, like, drastically change the controls. It's like, fuck, just, let's just all agree on a standard fucking setup mm-hmm. and focus on the, the game, you know? Like, why fucking... Now I gotta worry about my melee is where my fucking sprint is, you know? It's like... But no, that's... I'm not on fucking Batman's dingling for that shit. <laughs> But you are on Batman's <laughs> thing. Right I'll even I'll even go one step further and say I fucking don't even like it when Batman uses batterings. I'd rather him just fucking kick someone in the face. Some explosive gel. <laughs> it's just like whatever. No, like, I'm just whatever. He flings a fucking battering at someone. I just want him to fucking like. You want him to body people. slam someone, you know? Like. But I mean, like I I said, if they extend the batarang, you know, to the battering I mean, God, we're now we're calling stuff. it the battering. If they extended the controllers and make them a little bit longer on the handles. Add like fucking air coolers or whatever on it, you know. So they keep your hands what? from sweating. Does, yeah. does it super gimmicky. Super charged. I think that's just those right where it needs to be. Yeah. Yeah. They had those before. It's, but not, not, not on not on the official. Yeah, not on the official ones, but they had those. They're not gonna make that bad that bad Fuck man control. No. That shit was a joke when it came out. People just fucking laughed as soon as they saw it, and then. Just, yeah, they laughed at it, but now people are, are sitting there saying no, they want it. who the fuck wants that controller? <laughs> who the fuck wants to be like, oh, I can't even store this controller in a drawer because it looks so fucking ridiculous re- retarded. Well, you don't have to be Nobody a dick about that. it. Nobody wants that fucking, fucking asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan, what do you think? Do you want a fucking... No, I don't want the boomerang Are you I, I, I kinda... bad dick? <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't say that I am. I think the controllers right now are fine. I kind of agree with Vince on that. I wouldn't see... Any reason to change the controllers? Xbox now. or PS3? No, neither. If neither like one. neither one. If PlayStation magically started using fucking Xbox controllers, I'd be annoyed, but I'd still be fine with it. It's fine the way it is. Like the, both of those setups. Yeah, are both fine. those designs I, are pretty good. I kind of would like the PS3 and the Xbox One a little bit wider. Now that right. I've been thinking about it more lately, I kind of would like it a little bit wider. Just you know, nothing like half an inch, maybe an inch wider. Just so it's a little bit more comfortable and I'm not so close together with it. And then also, like, if the PS3 one, you can implement the light for the move or something onto yeah, it. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. It'd be cool if they implemented some kind of, like, light type, the move sensor or something. Yeah. Or, like, a Vita track pad on the back. Or something. Yeah. So give it kind of, like, yeah, a bit it's more. Just something. That'd because, be I mean, it better be something good, though. They've already tried the fucking six axis, the motion shit. Like, if you're going to add something. That stuff all work good. Please, for the love of God, they don't have a big ass screen in the middle. <laughs> for the, the, the love of God, axis, the, the motion thing. Yeah, it's okay. still it's still that's the, the six axis. I don't. I haven't played a game fucking forever that uses that shit. Yeah, if you plug it, if you get your DualShock Three and put in Heavy Rain, that still works. It's in there. They just called the the original controllers were just six axis controllers. I see. The DualShock Threes have that still built in. Still I just never. Out. They don't make kill zone three. Them. Kill zone three uses it. Yeah, or the kill zone two uses. He is, it. doesn't like the kill zone yeah. games. He doesn't. Play. I don't like it. It's not, oh, I I like the first one. Yeah, all that shit's all yeah. that shit's gimmicky, and eventually people don't want to. Exactly. Use it. it always but goes the, back to just like, hey, let's just play the fucking game. The PlayStation yeah. controller minus the sticks has been the same since PlayStation One. That's like fucking 12, 13 years now. Yeah. Fucking it's. I think they're just making if they keep can, like adding on to that or do as least as amount as they need to, but if there's something new that comes out that they feel that they need to add and hopefully it's not fucking stupid and gimmicky, but as long as it doesn't fuck with the rest of the controller, I think they should just stick on track. I think another R button would work somewhere up there, maybe like three rows, like two smaller ones and then a big trigger and one. And a big trigger. Or maybe right. one on the side, some kind of extra buttons. We could use an extra button or two somewhere. Maybe. Mm-hmm. Maybe the joysticks make him a little bit concave, kind of like on a 360 or something. Because, see, like, as much as I love Sony, and, you know, I have my Xbox 360, but my Xbox 360 is, like, I have the controller, and that's it. Mm-hmm. You know, I have a chat pad on mine, on one of them, and I have a headset. That's it. Where, like, on my PS3, I have... My move controller, my navi controller, my fucking my eye to- you know. Well. I and mean, I have like a bu- all these accessories, and well, it's just like Xbox controller, the keyboard's an accessory clipped on. Yeah. PlayStation, you can get the same thing. Yeah, I can well, get it the has same thing. Trackpad built in. But that's that's another item on top of what I'm saying. Yeah, which is on your Xbox. Controller. And then what I'm saying is like I have this whole entire section of one drawers dedicated for my PS3, where my Xbox is like. 
a controller and a that, chat okay, pad I can together. See the head film thing because you can plug your headphones in your Xbox controller. Mm-hmm. But the keyboard on the Xbox controller and the keyboard on the PlayStation controller are the exact same thing. They clip on and they stay on. Yeah. But then I have the Move controller and I have the Navi controller. I have all this extra shit where, like, if they can just simplify it to where they I'll, would work I'll together in one. I'll tell you what. I'll, will, gi- I'll give it up to this, okay? This is a I- random idea off the top of my head. If they took the fucking PlayStation controller and maybe the 360 and they replaced the select and start button with, like, a little fucking touchpad screen in the center that allowed you to, like... Type and shit and select things from there, but like works well, like because that's a problem. Like typing shit in is a fucking pain in the ass. If they had like a little like iPhone style screen they could add on there, something like that to make things like that easier. But or Android terms, swipe. Exactly, but in terms of the sticks and the button layout, it's symmetrical. You have the four, the D pad and the fucking the buttons are pretty much the same thing. You could have like two D pads. It's the same, pretty much the same thing. And where the R twos are, like the way like that's they shouldn't fuck with any of that shit. But maybe making the, the typing would be would be cool. Because that is a pain in the ass. I have a fucking USB keyboard I plug into mine. And I always forget to use it. But that works better than clicking around and typing shit in. Sometimes I'm pretty fast on that. And I know nowadays... The I only one that sucks is Xbox. Because Xbox does their keyboard yeah. fucking completely weird. But they, ha- they have those... They go the, A, B, C, D, E, F, yeah. G all the way across. But you can change that. Now you can you change can it? You can change it to QWERTY, yeah. Okay, cool. Because yeah, I'm you like... You can change it now. Fuck this. Yeah, that's actually been there for a while, but they didn't advertise it, so not everybody knows that you can change it to quirky. That's like fucking sit there and I just... Know. A lot of people that. had no... I didn't I didn't actually know about it until I saw it on a website. You kind of don't even think about it until you don't have the quirky. You're like, what the fuck am I looking at here? It's yeah. like you're so used to it. Yeah. But they make those... What is it? Those iPod Nanos? Or the iPod... What's the little iPod that's got... It's like a mini fucking iPhone with a touch you screen. You mean the little mini screen? That's the Nano. No, no. Yeah. I mean, if they could do that, they could probably add something like that to the fucking controller. Yeah, it's pretty small though. But even then, it's like it can't be gimmicky. It's got to be functional. The, the the keypad, the little the little keypad you snap on a PlayStation controller works pretty dang good. I'm just kidding. Yeah, actually, that it's is. A, don't I, worry about it. It's over there, by behind, underneath Jason. I've used those, and I just never spent the money on buying one. That's only. Yeah, I mean, it's like thirty bucks or something. But I mean, it's got a trackpad built in. My knee ripped it off a long time ago like on my side. Just, on the PlayStation one, the the whole keypad, if you just put your finger on it, it's mm-hmm. like a trackpad, like on a mouse. Oh, so, okay. Like on a laptop. That's kind of neat. Yeah, so you, you can, can just go like... Yeah, if you use your finger just to like... You don't push anything. Things. You just like put your finger on there and go like that. It's like a trackpad on a laptop. Did Pretty not fancy. know that. It's fancy. I've been wanting to get one of those it's lately. fancy. Anyways, well, we'll head off on to the next controller. Uh, next controller. Next topic. The next controller. Uh... PS4 is set to be high priced again, so with the new features coming out, maybe new memory capacity, we all know it's going to be coming, so will you be willing to start saving a few bucks now to get it on day one? Or I think Sony went in their list, and I don't think it's going to be expensive. It might be somewhat, but not it'll like astronomical. It won't be six hundred it'll, it'll be it'll be priced. It might be yeah. five hundred bucks, but it's not gonna be six hundred bucks. It might even be four hundred bucks, or they might decide you know, to go with a different tier version. I don't versions. think it's gonna be expensive because when the I PlayStation Three came out, <laughs> yeah. Blu-ray was brand new, it was, and yeah. that was a big chunk yeah. of the system. I don't think it's gonna be more than like four hundred bucks. Yeah, that's what I was saying. About four hundred yeah. bucks, probably. So or they may even do double tiers, standard. so they might have a smaller, cheaper tier and yeah. then a more premium content Who version. Knows? I'd probably say like I won't, I won't buy one until it's at least four hundred bucks. So when it hits that yeah. price, I'll buy it. If it but goes out that price, I'll probably buy it right away. You guys start wanting to save some money aside now. Nah, I'm I'm gonna follow the same rule. the The first fucking run of games aren't that great usually. Um, there's problems like i usually wait like good six months to a year Mm -hmm. playstation 3 will still be pumping out good shit until i just literally it's like i said before i've said this on other podcasts when that game comes out that i cannot live without then i'll get it right i'll figure it out you know it'll probably be like a metal gear or a fucking grand theft auto i'll need it and then i'll get it but i'm not gonna save ahead of time fuck that i want to see what's gonna happen right no not for the ps4 jason uh probably will you start saving some money now. No, I'll just go get it when it comes out. See, I said I won't start saving money until I know there's a price point. Like, I, the PS3, it, the only reason I didn't get the PS3 when it first came out is because I got screwed out of one by GameStop. Huh? 
and then I was so pissed off I didn't want one. So that's and then on PS3 I got like a year after it came out. So. <laughs> like when I got pissed off and I got yeah, like same thing, Michael. I mean, PS3s were fucking hard to get when they came out. Yeah, they were. They were hard as shit. Yeah, and I want to avoid all that kind of shit. And so I'm, I'm not gonna send it. I had, had, had seventeen hundred bucks and I was planning on buying three PS3s, and I could not get a hold of one. Yeah. And I was so pissed off, and I was like, just, so fucking, yeah, it's, just go to strip club. We drove all the way to, <laughs> yeah, we drove all the way to Burbank to go stand in line at like the no some the number one Best Buy that was getting the most that Michael yeah. knew was. They were, they were having like a big old like they're getting like four hundred and something. something. Yeah, and it was like a line of like a thousand people going around the building, and they're like, all these people aren't getting one. So yeah, if you do want to get one, I guess if this comes out, it would probably be a good idea to pre-order early, anyways, if you intend to get the first run that come out. If yeah. you intend to get the first this run. This is the thing, too. You get the first run, they're going to be the first ones to fuck up probably sooner than if you just wait for another generation. Right, 60 gig lasted me a long time. Was that the very, very first generation that came yeah. out? Yeah. You can keep, you can hold on to them if you, I don't know, get them repaired. Well, I know the, the Xbox is a completely different story, though. No. no. That no. was a fucking disaster. Yeah, it was. That was a major cluster. Explosion in your face. <laughs> I mean, there was a lot of new technology in the last consoles. Yeah. A lot of dual, yeah, yeah. It was a, a big multi core processors, new optical drives, new thermal paste. Yeah, I don't, like, I mean, honestly, it wasn't like, I don't no, know, cheap fucked thermal, everybody. Cheap thermal paste. New thermal paste. New fucked cheap everybody. thermal paste. But, like, I don't think that's going to happen this. this. I don't think so either. Yeah, this one, it's. We're, who, I don't know what we're going to get, whether you're going to get cloud based or, like, a hybrid cloud based type thing or. I don't know what we're going to get, but I don't think they're going to be expensive based on just technology. Cause all the technology we got out there is basically just upgrades of what we could. Yeah. Well, what's something new that they can put in there that would, you know... Yeah. And, and like, that's what everybody's been saying. Oh, new PS3, new PS, new Xbox is coming out. And I was like, <clears throat> what's new that they have to offer besides yeah. graphics? We won't really know. We're just hearing the rumor mill spin. Yeah. And, and I go, the only thing I can think of would be, like... To add more memory into the thing, but it's yeah. like maybe an up upgraded graphics processor. Maybe. Oh yeah, if you have more but, resources, you have more graphics, you have more variables, yeah, more yeah, things yeah. in the screen at once, you more options for games that give you more. Yeah, yeah exactly. So this technically leads us into our next question, because the next PS4 is supposed to be rumored to go higher than 1080p. You know, it's supposed to be one, too. one to four K TVs, and it's going to be going up to four K. Um, you know, with that being such a significant difference, you know, will you guys go out and buy a new TV if the TV comes out? If the new PS3 That's handles? Actually, I actually want a 4K TV, so I'm not going to... Re- That's one thing that's deterring me from going and buying a TV, is I know the 4K ones are right around the corner. They're already going to come get out cheaper. in, like, Japan. Yeah. I don't think we have any out right here in the U.S. So. In there's Japan, one, there's one for it's 25 grand. But yeah, in Japan, 25. they're already out. It's the, it's the out price here. of a Volkswagen. The PS4, the, the fucking Xbox one, they better be fucking 4K if they want to, you know, be I'll, competitive I'll, for a couple of years. I want to stay on your level. I would only buy the TV just because I want it, yeah. and not for I'm the not system. Gonna, I might buy it for the system. I don't think I'd buy but, it for the system, but I would buy it because I want it. The game, At the very least... This console should support 4K. Yeah, I mean that'd be stupid enough. I don't think. Not to. I don't think yeah. if it supports 4K is even that much of a yeah. resource jump in terms of no. this. Yeah, it's more the the, the no, monitor. No, it would be a huge resource jump. You think so? Yeah, because I mean that's resolution. That's that's detail. That's a lot. Like the new the new yeah, MacBooks right. right. that use Retina displays. Yeah. Those things will run like three fucking monitors off their fucking little outport. Yeah, yeah, I saw and that. My fucking video card at home won't even run two mon, three monitors. I'm not gonna say what mine runs. Yeah, six. Wow, <laughs> oh, you, got you, the, got you get the ATI ones. Wow. Yeah, but but here's something also to think about. Most of the games now don't even run at full 1080p. No, that's true. Yeah, that's very running true. TVs I've been playing on a 720p this whole time on a fucking 32 inch TV. Yeah, That's yeah. fine, but like if you have a fine. PS4 yeah. and you have a 4K TV and you get like a 4K fucking Blu-ray or whatever the fuck they're going to put 4K media on and you're like, oh I can't watch that movie because my PS3 doesn't support 4K. I have to go buy another thing. I didn't really even jump on the Blu-ray thing for a while. I mean, it 
I'd say in terms of like us in this room here, I know like the levels of like who's gonna buy certain things. I know like certain people here are more hardcore than others. So I I consider myself more average yeah. in terms of like what I'm gonna buy. The when average I'm gonna buy man. It. And I'm fucking definitely gonna like fucking stay away from that shit for quite a while until the it's fucking be prices drop. When they come out. Yeah. Like I'm I'm I still trip now because I spent like eight hundred bucks on my fucking seven twenty P T V. And at the time that was fucking like as cheap as I can get. Now it's fucking like I can get for eight hundred bucks I could get something to blow my fucking TV <laughs> yeah. away. I still love that T V and it works great, but yeah, I'm definitely gonna fucking as a average consumer, gonna mm-hmm. fucking steer way clear, weight. Same thing with the PS four, I'll fucking kick back a little bit. Make sure there's no fucking time bombs in it, you know, shit like that. Wait for some decent games to come out. Look at the launch titles for fucking Xbox. At the time, yeah, it was cool, but when you look back now, there was a lot of fucking garbage. Well, 360, I had a shitty, shitty lineup. Yeah. Shitty. Same game with PS3. Yeah, they, they both had great. shitty lineups. Yeah. I yes, mean, all we them. did too. Resist, Resistance had Resistance was one of the best games out. Um, it was. There was also Heavenly it, Sword was a Heavenly game. Sword was a good game yeah, it was too, right. I mean, but it, was it wasn't. You know, it's it's a great Heavenly Swords is a great game. Yeah, but it's just I said the gameplay was good and the graphics looked tell. pretty good, but the story I wasn't the really only, the only good game on the 360 when it released was Condemned. That, that was really right. was it. <laughs> that really was it. You know what? You know what I really wanted to yeah. play. The main reason I want I wanted 360 is I, I wanted to play Hitman, which I had already played on PS2. I just wanted to see the graphics. Yeah, you want to see. The but difference. then in hindsight, when I saw it, I was like, "This is even like it was shit." It wasn't different. Yeah. No. And now that was the oh, like launch title, it. and they're barely coming out with another Hitman. Yeah, yeah. I played my PS3 for a good time on SD when I first when I first got it. Like, yeah, my PS3, time. dude. I rocked the SD TV for a long time. That's what I was saying at first. I rocked the SD TV for a long time until all five of my TVs were going down within a month. <laughs> yeah, I remember. I remember when I first got mine because, like I said, it's just a 720. I got it when we I first got my soon after I got my PS3. I got Metal Gear. And I went, I was playing it on the SD tube, and then I fucking went and got the TV, like, oh my god, my fucking face is melting off. <laughs> and I, I could tell Mikey was just like, fuck you. I remember fuck you. And when he, when he finally got his TV, he was so fucking happy. <laughs> I remember playing Dead Rising on a 27 inch standard television. <laughs> you couldn't even read in standard because they made the whole game in high def. If you had an objective, oh, yeah. good fucking luck. Go <laughs> yeah. figure yeah, it out. My, my friend, uh, our friend Chota Boy. He we play with on Battlefield. You know he plays on a SD TV. Oh, he does. His uh, his brother doesn't. They yeah. got a nice TV, but when he plays, he's got to play on the regular TV. So he'll ask me sometimes, "What is this? What is the? How many things does it say I have there?" <laughs> <laughs> he's like, "Sorry, I can't read it. It's just all blurred out." Like he calls all the guns he asked, funny shit. He asked me too, and I'll be like, "I don't know what it." Is. Yeah, he had, he calls this one gun. It's a Dow. I, it's called a Dao twelve or something like that. It's a yeah. shotgun. But he calls it the dad. Because <laughs> the O and the D are very similar. But yeah. on my TV, it's clearly a DAO. So I call it a DAO. And he calls it the dad. And I'm like, this motherfucker. What do you use? I'm using my dad. Yeah. Pretty much. <laughs> this is how my dad. Use yeah, my dad. my dad. cell phone. <laughs> <laughs> I toss it on the ground. <laughs> it's, I, I can't even imagine. Like, I would just not play video games if I had to use one of those TVs. I just wouldn't play anymore. If I had to go back to an SD TV, yeah. they got some 8K TVs now that people are fucking showing off. Yeah. So. Yeah, Sony has a TV that's a 4K TV. I think it's like 70 inches or something like that. Yeah, but it's, think, a, it's like 25 grand. Yeah, 25 grand. 25 grand. Sony needs to get out of the TV. You know what's really cool is I. S- <laughs> they drop a price exponentially. They're showing in like Japan and stuff at Trish. Is that invisible glass? Have you seen that shit? Mm-mm. It's glass that they make that doesn't fucking give off reflections, so when you look at it, it's like fucking invisible. It's fucking crazy. Nice. That's kind of so like idea. they show like punch bunch of pieces of glass, and you can see like reflections, whatever on the other side of the room, and then this one there's fucking nothing. It's fucking huh. crazy. It's just regular like window glass. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's, it's just glass. Well, it's not reflective. It's just like yeah. yeah they said no. Something about the glass is so pure. Mm-hmm. They're like, okay, you're like a huge, thick piece of glass gets blue. Like yeah. there's a bluish tint to it. This yeah. glass, it's because it's got impurities and shit. Yeah. This glass is fucking so pure that if it was just that completely thick, clear, fucking perfectly clear, like crystal. Yeah. Well, like a lot, of, lot of, a lot of guys are talking about like the thick ones. They have other things in I'll them. I'll show you a thick one. Yeah, like they have <laughs> like metals said. and shit in them, yeah. so that way they're harder. Yeah, so they're. But stronger. when they get thicker, you do start to see a color yeah. in them. So instead of any normal glass, after when it's thick, it, you 
gets cloudy and gets colors in it. Pretty cool. That's actually, I mean, I have a Mac TV, so I never had a problem. But yeah, so I do like, get some glare, but like I know of other people like my uncle when we play with him. What does your uncle have a plasma? Uh, yeah. That's and why. When he FaceTimes yeah. me, he's, his fucking shows like a cave because he it, he gets a lot of glare and shit off his TV. That's why, like, when people used to come in and be like, "I want a plasma," and I was like, "For what?" Well, he just <laughs> barely got it, like it, like less than a year ago. Yeah, so even then, they're good. They're he's no, got they're a good. good. He's they're got a good. They have high res, high refresh rate. Six hundred refresh rate. Eight hundred refresh rate. Yeah, they're and it's good. nice. They're amazing looking. But like I tell people, if you can't control the light in the room, I don't recommend it. What do you mean? And it's like I've seen people buy a TV at the beginning of the day. They go home, they install it, and by the end of the night, they're returning it because there's too much fucking glare. Yeah, and it's like they can't control the light coming in, and it's too reflective because of the glass that's on in front of it. No, that's okay. I'll bite it. All right. Whatever, you fucking jerk off. You'll be back. <laughs> fucking joke off. Sir, you'll be back. Mm, fucking wanker. Anyways. So that goes into our 4K section. Um, next system is going to have end networking in it. You know, we don't... Do you know what's what in that? the Vita? It probably is Vita in. is in. It Vita is be. in? Yeah, Vita yeah, is in. It should be in. Okay, because we were trying to figure out we could have remembered. The 360 and the PS3, aren't they in? No. Well, the 360 is my new Slimline 360 the new slim is line. in, but I was wondering about the PS. The and new wireless. PS3 the brand new one? No, they're still G. They're Even still the G. the new new one? I think the new one. The Super are. Slim is also G. Wow. Uh, yeah, double check. But aren't they going to be now like AC? Isn't that the new? Yeah, hopefully they're a new standard because N's been around for a while. And I mean, N was supposed to last a long time, but hopefully it would be something new. Yeah, I'm hoping something newer will come up, but you know. They, there's, they should come out with the end networking and all that. But, mm -hmm. uh, end networking is basically the Wi Fi network that you have at your house. A okay. huge pipeline. It's just faster to transfer between machines, it's a faster speed. So, like your phone that supports end now, um, you hook it up and it transfers your your with your Wi Fi, you know, shit downloads a lot faster. It downloads closer to the speeds that you actually get. You know, okay. they have those. Uh, something I forget who makes. Was it Linksys? I think Linksys makes them for the, the game Fuck. adapters for the PS3 Fuck that you could Linksys. plug into the front. <laughs> Fuck Linksys in the past couple of years, dude. Yeah, they've been really shitty. Yeah. Really. But back shitty. in the day when the PS3 first came out, they had those network adapters you could plug into USB. Yeah. That Netgear wireless, made it too. Yeah. Wireless N. Mm -hmm. uh, my one of my cousins bought those because, and I think he was pulling mm -hmm. down. Faster internet. Faster internet? Yeah. For the PS2s, right? PS3. I thought it had a wireless thing already. The only it reason does, he bought it was because you, uh, you could get faster you could get wireless in. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, keep mine wired. well, then I would be definitely sure that it would have in. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> Untech Savvy also asked me a question, like, why don't we have any ads on the site? And Ads? Yeah. Really? We're communists. Okay. I don't believe in capitalism. Well, <laughs> no. Uh, when the site before, before I did the remake over of it, I had at I had okay, one ads. I had one ad on the site, and the ad is is just it was just there. If I got any money out of it, I did. If mm -hmm. I didn't, whatever. Yeah. But my philosophy is is any money that I get from the site, I'm gonna put it right back into promoting the website. Right. Um, also, if I start making enough money to where there's money left over extra, then what I'm going to start doing is using it to do giveaways. Yeah. You know, because we're not doing this yeah, just... give shit away to me. Because <laughs> I'm poor. No. <laughs> you make more money than me, okay? I was the last contest winner. <laughs> <laughs> no, but he brings up a good point. I, I mentioned this um, earlier on, like very early on before he made the site, but yeah, it's like... Probably getting to the point where shit's looking pretty tightened up. It's probably time to maybe add some ads on there for that, for some funds to maybe do some Straight shit. Straight up porno ones, like yeah. disgusting porno ones. <laughs> exactly those. <laughs> Two girl like, like cup lights. is. <laughs> but then the thing was, too, is like all the ads that I was using before, a lot of it, I had. it took me a long time to configure it, like, you know, pretty much yeah, all night, one night. And I got it to where it was just one ad on the side because everything else was like, as soon as you post a new topic there was an ad at the beginning ad at the end 
ad in the uh, middle and an ad on the side. <laughs> We're really adding. <laughs> and I was just like, it, it looked like shit. And right. I go to a lot of websites and there's your overabundance with so much ads and everybody's like, click on this ad, click on this ad, watch this ad first and then you can fucking go to the website. And I'm yeah. like, well, I don't want bad. that. I don't want that. Yeah, you don't want it to be a pain in the ass. But I, I think, uh, I guess one way to say it is, I know you haven't done, done it too much, but there's been times where you've gotten early game access to games for like um, reviewing purposes you've contacted yeah. the company products and if you can get some very specialized ads for shit that actually fucking matters because we all know that when you go on the internet you see all sorts of junk just fucking all over the place yeah. who gives a fuck mm-hmm. but like I know Mikey's showed a lot of interest in like trying to build fucking relationships with uh, smaller companies like Atlas and shit like yeah. that like fuck it dude like if we can maybe approach some of those people and try to promote those things we yeah. like and make it to where it's not cluttering everything, we should probably do that. Yeah. That's, Sounds I mean, good. that's that's something we talk about. Bizarre often. question, but yeah. No, but it's... No, you know, something that he asked me, he's like, he's like yeah, because he, he, he was like, he goes, well, how do you make money off of it? And I was like, well, we don't make money yeah. off of it. I go, yeah. we do it because, you know, Draven and Chase and I, we've been buddies on the Net- PSN network for a long time now. Yeah. And we just started doing, you know, since the Gaming Good podcast, since the podcast before that, yeah. you know, and it's just like, we do it just because we like talking about video games. And I started this podcast because you guys I've grown up with. Well, not Ryan. but Not Ryan. We don't grow up with that guy. No, 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 Ryan, no. I didn't grow up. I'm an outsider. He's an outsider. He, but He was uh, born as an adult. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I came into this world. You only knew me now. <laughs> He's like Benjamin Button. He's going backwards. <laughs> Guys, I've only been alive for maybe three, four years. Ever since I've known Mikey. So, yeah, he never existed before that. Yeah, exactly. His yearbook pictures are not there. Yeah, they're not. <laughs> well, they're, they're fraud. <laughs> they're fraudulent. My whole past is a lie. But it's funny because we would, all of us, the four of us would hang out, and plus with our, some of our other friends, and we start drinking, and once we started talking about video games, we would fucking be, like, cracking up about shit, dude. You know, saying, like, oh, that's fucking gay, or talk about, like, exactly... Like, pop culture, yeah. video games, comics, movies, they're yeah. all kind of, like, all in the same genre. If you like one, you probably like the other ones as well. Yeah. Typically. I and, remember a very deep discussion when a bunch of guys were here about The Force. Oh, a God. very deep discussion <laughs> that went three hours long about The Force. <laughs> The Force. Midichlorians. <laughs> Fuck the Midichlorians. <laughs> midichlorians. I saw a comic that was pretty funny lately. <laughs> it was like a comic and it showed some guy talking to Han Solo and he's like, yeah, that's my ship, the, the Millennium Falcon. And the guy said, what's that? He's like, it's my ship. It ran the... It ran the... Whatever. Some, some, some yeah, parts yeah, parts yeah. Parts yeah. Parts. yeah, he's like, no, what the fuck is a falcon? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, shit. Yeah, they don't got no falcons in the fucking galaxy <laughs> yeah. far, far away. So, so you ever think about that shit? <laughs> 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 that was a good comic. That is awesome. <laughs> but it's like, this is the reason why, because we start laughing and we fucking joking about this type of shit, and it's just like, I wanted some of the shit that we said sometime was fucking comedy gold, in my opinion. No, it really was. <laughs> it's also it's also general things that like groups of friends when they're like the funniest times you can have is when you're around with your buddies and you just the funniest shit is said, and typically you don't say that around the general public. Yeah. And yeah. yeah, and that obviously when the fucking mic goes off, we probably say some things that we wouldn't be saying <laughs> here. But yeah, you're right. Even when Mike was on, we had to edit it out. Ryan, yeah, <laughs> you edited out Ryan before. I've edited we, out Ryan you before. Had to. What did you I do? had to. What Ryan, did you say? Ryan said something one time, and we were just joking around. And then later on, he hit me up like two days later, and he's like, "Before you post that, you need to edit that. You shit need out. to edit that shit out." Oh shit. <laughs> And I was like, okay. All right, I'm going to have to find out what this yeah, is. Yeah, we'll talk about that later. <laughs> yeah. We just edit it. Tell it out. We'll edit it out. No. <laughs> <laughs> I went, hey, when I get drunk, I get mouthy. Sorry. Oh, no. Yeah, and, and it's, it's, it's funny because I, I sit there and I was like trying to find a point to where we first started talking about it to where we stopped talking about it and then where it sounded proper to, to where it, together. Yeah. it just went together. And I don't think anybody really noticed. I'm not sure. Yeah. Well, don't worry. Technical course. difficulty. Yeah. Yeah. I'm drunk and I get mouthy. <laughs> but but I mean another uh, you know it's not really about the ads or like like you're right though. Like I think 
or I think the uh, it, tech savvy is right. Where I think it's especially for Mikey, who's a little bit more I say hardcore in terms of wanting to be involved in the industry level. Um, thank you. Know, you. Ads, I am hardcore. Yeah, well, it's like I said, we're all got different levels, like you know, of, of our involvement in terms of gaming. I think for Mikey, he wants to be more involved in the the development level or like the reviews and shit like that. Like, you know, I know when you first when you got what was that game? The fucking uh, dot. What is it? Yeah, three D dot game heroes. And oh, uh, this motherfucker heroes, yeah. was so fucking excited. They sent me a free copy before it came out. I was excited oh my God. for my yard. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. They sent this yeah. to you. But that's cool though. And then like you know, he's done a few unboxings, which like. Whatever, I don't watch fucking unboxings, but the fact <laughs> <laughs> But people do. People do that's though. great, but I, I don't like it. The same thing. Sometimes <laughs> I do, it just depends. But the if fact it's that something you, that's like unique or like you won't probably get, yeah, watch it. But if it's like but something that, takes, that I could go to the store and just buy <laughs> like I'm but guys, guys, but guys, that takes here's uh, some Ritz crackers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, the point is he's like getting involved with the company and you're fucking trying to like we should do that. Unboxing video some fucking like, We like, should. Be like, oh, Ooh. they're delicious. It's a new product that comes out. Unboxing Oreos. <laughs> just unbox these Oreos. I'm going to try one. Let's see. You got to oh, twist it counterclockwise. Pretty good. Dude, I, we can add visual effects now, dude. I'm getting better with fucking Sony Vegas. Oh, shit. No, but. This is why we do this. <laughs> I don't even know what the fuck the point I was making. Your point is, it's like, you know. We're not doing this for a whole bunch of money or anything like that. It's just, you know, man. And another thing, too, is, like, when people start getting free games all the time and you say something negative about the game, then they stop sending you free games. Or you might also be inclined to, to always be, always say good shit when you really feel like you shouldn't. Yeah. You know, I, you always want to be honest, like, fuck about things, like, you know, but. Yeah. And that's the hard part, too, is because people don't want to say the honest thing about it. And then when they do... They're like, well, now I'm not getting free games anymore because I said something honest about the game, and now it's just like, yeah, now the company's upset at you. So yeah, like even when I got 3D uh, Game Heroes, I was just like, okay, it's like Zelda, and I'm having fun with it. But at the same time, I was like, you know, stuff it looks great, but I'm looking at it like trying to find something negative about the game, and I had a lot of fun with the game, and that was the bad, yeah, you know, and that was the cool thing about it. The same thing with Persona Four. I was trying to find something negative about it, and I couldn't find something negative about Persona right. when I got the PS or uh, Persona Four version or Persona Two. <sighs> Forgot which one I got. <sighs> and I was like, I'm trying to find something negative about it, but I'm like, the only thing I can say is like, if you don't like Japanese RPGs, you're not gonna like this game. Yeah, that's kind of what know? it comes down to. And that's the only thing I could really say negative about it. Yeah. Like most of everything that they implemented into the system was nice. Yeah. Well, that was also very honest, because you're just coming at it like, this is all the stuff I liked about it. However, if you do not like this type of version of game, you're not going to like this one. Yeah. There's also, like, a fun factor. There's certain things that are just, a game can have issues, but it's just so fucking fun that, like, it doesn't matter. Other it, times, it matters a lot, you know? It just depends. Like, I, I'm, I'm building, like up, factor. I'm building yeah. up my press contacts now, but the only thing I'm building up with them is just, like, give us the newsletters like we want to know what's new coming out what's going, on. what's going on and stuff like that if i have a question can i ask somebody over yeah, here can i contact yeah, yeah. gotcha yeah because we're like a modest podcast but we'd like to be maybe have some fucking like early information or fucking whatever you know yeah. something but i mean another way to answer the question the original question like why there's no ads uh, a very simple answer is is that it's mike mikey especially has put in a lot of work and getting the website up and all the recordings, yeah. and it's literally taken this long with the his schedule with having a kid and stuff like that. To now, it's getting to where I think he's it's good to go to do that. But up until this point, it has been a lot of fucking because Mikey came from a another uh, group of people doing podcasts, and um, you know he probably wasn't the the main person dealing with all that shit. So now he's kind of had to like learn how to do that on his own um, with a little bit of help here and there, but like. Really, he's doing main most of it on his own. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it's probably time to do that now. <laughs> the cat's up on the thing. Huh? If you heard purring right now, we should get those creepy ads that like know what you've been looking at and like. That's put what that mine ad. is. Yeah, because mine sits there when I had it up. It would sit there, and I was looking at the survival stuff. Yeah. And because Liz was freaking out, and I was like, okay, cool. So I started looking, and it's all. This survival kit is right here. This survival <laughs> kit's right here. And then when I bought all my shit from Newegg for my new computer, it's all 
buy these new computers yeah. from New Egg and buy Remember this hard drive. RAM you just so bought? You should buy it again. Smart, yeah. You bought some RAM. You like RAM? <laughs> we got RAM. We got RAM for you right we'll now. We'll RAM you. <laughs> I do like the idea of giveaways, though. If we did have people to actually get involved and be able to like hook some people up and shit. Yeah, that'd be nice. Yeah. Because the stuff that I'm looking at right now is just like, you know, whatever I have. So, you know, it's just whatever I got for free, like the, the PC games that I got that I did the first giveaway and Ryan won it. I did. And <laughs> I didn't do I'm thinking myself because that, that was Civilization 4, Should right? Should that be like a It was Assassin's or Creed 2 or Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. Yeah. Um, <laughs> hold on. Keep it going because I got to see. Well, I got to try and remember what he gave me. There was a Civilization <laughs> in there somewhere. Hawk. Yeah. He gave Hawk me Hawks. Um... What the hell else? I don't know. I don't know. It's Civilization. Tropico? No, I think he kept Civ. Or no, it wasn't Civ. It was the Napoleon game. Yeah, I think it was uh, Tropico. No, Tropico right. 4? I thought it was a similar. I think game. it was Tropico 4. Which, all of them, I have not played. <laughs> That's so sad. We should make a disclaimer that we can't win the prizes. Yeah, I think we need to make... The, well, you know, that was very <laughs> early fuck, on. No one, was like, no one fucking second. claimed them. What are you going to do? Yeah, it's too late now. We just <laughs> save them for when we have... A listener or two. Oh, yeah, yeah, I believe that, definitely. It was, you know, in the beginning, we didn't exactly know what exactly we were doing. But now, yeah, I think we could do it a lot easier, especially now with the site all set up really nice. We could give out some pretty good uh, giveaways, I would think. Why not? If we have people that are listening, I guarantee Mikey will be down to fucking start hounding companies to get some free shit to fucking yeah. give out. Yeah, yeah, that we're not keeping, we're giving it away. Next year... Be good at space for somebody. We should do a contest somebody. where we take somebody to E3. Hey, there you go. <laughs> that shit would be fucking hard. And just get shitty drunk <laughs> and then be like, oh, we didn't tell you, you're the designated driver, yeah. motherfucker. <laughs> By the way, up. you're taking us there and back. <laughs> we'll give you a gas, Shut up. Shut up. There's <laughs> also a strip club down the way. You're paying for it. <laughs> you got money for parking. It's $30. <laughs> That'd be messed up. Then we ditch the guy when we get inside. <laughs> that's be a disclaimer, though. They have to be from California. Shh, we don't want to tell them the plan. Yeah. No, we'll tell the plan right to their face. They're not going to expect it. <laughs> like, oh, fuck. We didn't think you were actually going to show up. Damn. You've, you're you bad, bro. Get in the car. Get Here's the fucking car. Pass. Don't get caught. <laughs> we decided that we're going to have a contest that uh, someone can win... Uh, be a designated driver to E3. To E3. Designated driver. <laughs> you want to come with us? You don't get to go inside. You get to stay outside. Stay here and you watch this car. You watch my fucking Saturn. My 1998 fucking Saturn. Watch that shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, technically none of us have a Saturn by the was way was it last year the year before I think it was last year I had that real shitty little blue Subaru yeah I parked in a fucking parking lot and this Mexican guy like park, double parked it so at the end of the day we came back uh, he's like a straight up Mexican guy that didn't speak like barely any English so I was like I'm here to get my car he's like the Mercedes? <laughs> he was yes. making fun of me. He's like, the Mercedes? He said it all smiling. I was like, yeah, the fucking Mercedes. <laughs> Don't dick. you fucking mock me. I'll fucking kill you right now. What would have been awesome is as soon as he got his car and Jason got in, he fucking had his fat fucking system that like rattled all his fucking doors <laughs> playing like fucking I was laughing that that guy was clowning my car <laughs> And I was thinking, he probably does drive a nicer car than I do. Yeah, probably had like a fucking Bronco with the painting of his village on the back. Painting <laughs> <laughs> of his village. <laughs> Azteca. <laughs> Azteca. <laughs> uh, so that's going to be our show for this week. We actually still went over an hour again. We hit the three hour mark. Maybe next week, next time we'll go down to the two. But you know, if we hit the three again, it's still always fun. Yeah, it is. We could. Yeah. Do giveaways. I have a bunch of games I like, give away. So you don't want no not, fucking two-year-old games that you fucking. I tell you what. Anymore? How many? How many? Uh, besides, um, uh, not tech savvy and the other guy. I sorry, I forget the names, but how many people have been responding? Responding that you know of. 
<laughs> those are only two. Just those two. So if we so get so one of them two are gonna win. <laughs> so if we get some and response the from I'm them like, or like, hey, anybody you guys, else, you guys so want this game? They're like, no, it's cool. They're they're really modest about it. They're like, that's cool. Give it away to somebody it's else. Cool. That like, game's fucking <laughs> stupid. Why the fuck would I want that? I just want to listen. I don't want. I'm your gonna shit. be polite. I'm not gonna type what I'm thinking right now. I don't want your fucking stupid game. I don't want your shit. Right? Your old garbage. <laughs> I paid fucking four grand on my fucking gaming PC. Why the fuck would I want so that? So next week, guys, I'm giving away gun. <laughs> oh, oh, fuck that. Next week, as a public ser- public service, we're going to destroy gun in the Yeah, we're going to shoot gun with a gun. But gun was a fun game. Gun was, no, gun was like crappy. No, shitty. I didn't like no, gun. No, no, no. Gun was fun. The Garbage. Part. Red Dead sucked. What? No! <laughs> the first Red Dead. Red Dead Revolver was fucking oh, amazing. The we first were You're kidding me. Gun was fucking amazing. Gun, you could catch Red Dead Revolver amazing. was amazing. You could, you could beat your horse until it physically died from exhaustion. <laughs> exactly. That was the best part. They'd be like, you All right. to go to town. I'd be like, fuck yeah. I'd be like, bam, 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 bam. To be fair. that horse just so it would die right in the middle of town. And I'd just like, it would die and slide it. Yeah, and then you're like... You stand up while the horse is die- dead sliding. And you're just standing next to the fucking dead yeah. I, guess, I guess to be fair, I didn't play enough in the gun. Plus, gun came out years after Red Dead Revolver. No. It did. It was around the same Red Dead time. Revolver was on PS2. Yeah, so it was Only. gun. So it was gun. So it was and, gun. But on 360 as it well. It came out at, It was one of those games they played. Yeah, it came out in It came on both. So 360 was already out when gun came out. Yeah, 360, yeah. Red Dead Revolver was older... I, I'm not trying to get a long conversation at the end of the show, but Red Dead Revolver was not shitty. It was fucking amazing. No. It was fucking amazing. No. God Dude, damn it. Red Dead Revolver was like little arenas that you had to fight in. It was an gun. open world. It was an open world. No. It was still fucking awesome. But Gun, was, story a, was, gun was an open world where with you can go out. With two cities. With t- <laughs> Yeah, but it was, had, no, cool. it was in a it was fucking. Open world we started off in a fucking like, Mississippi that, fucking paddle boat. That. Like, what the fuck does this have to do with the Old West, dude? Bullshit. <laughs> There's also that like that cliff where the train tracks broke. Yes. yes. I always like drive my horse <laughs> and like and so he died. I'd get off and his dead body would slide off the side. <laughs> That's all I did in that game was just ride the horse till it died. Dude, I did all the side missions. I saw the white buffalo, I saw the white fang, I saw oh, I fucking beat that whole game and Dude, I hated I, it. No <laughs> man, I, I gotta it. agree with I didn't honestly couldn't after the first level I was like, hey, I played Red Dead Revolver before. This game's fucking stupid. Honestly. Yeah. And Red Dead Revolver wasn't even a fucking time. was even an open world game. I fucking challenge you guys to play Gun and Red Dead Revolver now. Red Dead Revolver now. in terms of style <laughs> seven story years ago. All, it was fucking way better. The style to it, I was like, damn, when his fucking dad got killed at the beginning, I was about to fuck crowd like, no. <laughs> and you gotta fucking like take up the mantle and Same shit. Same thing with gun. His dad got killed in the beginning too. You know what's sure. funny? It I comes- don't even know because I didn't fucking pay attention long enough because I stopped playing that shit. It was fucking stupid. <laughs> He right. saw the intro credits. He's all fuck this. <laughs> this game. No, shit. I mean I'm not. It, it's they're two different things, but definitely Red Dead Revolver was very very good. That's why when Redemption came out, I was fucking really excited before I knew anything about it because I loved the other game so much. Then once you saw the posse zero. In terms of gu- gun, I I did play it and I. Sorry guys, I I'll, played for about I'll never twenty minutes. Gun again. I played about twenty minutes and I was like, "Fuck this!" All you had like to do it. was play it long enough to beat the horse to the exhaust. The only game worse that than that part. is part. fucking uh, the Jericho game. What's it called? Not Jericho. Uh, Not Jericho. Uh, no, Blood, Brothers of Blood. Or no, something no, no, no. Like the other one. It was a town. It was uh, fuck Juarez. Something. Call like Juarez. Juarez. Call Juarez. That I thought was worse than that. Really? It's not. There's only one good part. Which one do I have? Is that the PS2 version, right? Yeah. No, or that's PS3. PS3. There's that's a the PS3. PS3 one. It's not bad. It's just kind of shitty. The War is? Call of War is. I played the second one. And and the it was best part of that game was when you were the reverend with the gun and you could read from the Bible as you were killing people. <laughs> <laughs> See, it's like they try, but like, rockstar has got lock on shit like that. You can't. So there was, I think there was Call of War is, and then the Call of War is Bound and Blood was the second one. Yeah. yeah. Which came out on the PS3. I had that one. Never played the first one. Uh, me and Mike are going to have a little discussion about Red Dead Revolver after this fucking <laughs> podcast right now. I can't I believe borrowed, you didn't like that game. I borrowed yours and I tried playing it and I got to the part where the dude's fucking running around throwing dynamite and I'm just like, really? Oh, the pig guy. He was a pain in the ass. Oh, yeah. that was a pain in the ass. Yeah. But, and that's like the second guy you But fought. yo, you missed the, the whole game. It's so awesome. You play as multiple characters. You play as a fucking Native American guy. You play as a Buffalo Soldier. You don't get to ride the horse at the very last level. Wow. But it was PS2, so it was kind of like, damn, man, if 
Like I kept thinking the whole time, <laughs> if you, you had this horse the whole time, this game would be amazing. And what do they do? They made Red Dead Redemption years and years and years later. Well, this game's going to be amazing. And so we're going to give you a horse on the last level. It was fucking pretty cool. You had to fucking see your train. All I'm horse. saying is, based off of that only, when Red Dead Redemption, they announced it, and I didn't know, see any gameplay or anything, I was already like, I'm fucking buying that shit, and I'm fucking so ready, because I fucking knew that it would be like the last one, but fucking way better. The only part that was stupid about Gun was that fucking boat ship thing. And the Mississippi that fucking shit boat me thing. Off, dude. People are like, like jumping on the side, but like, where are you coming from? Out of the water? Like fucking mermen and shit? What was that shit <laughs> all about? Jumping onto it. Because the water stream was low, they were in too low of a place when the fucking boat crashed. Anyways, the thing I liked, there was only two towns, but you can run around, you can hunt. Just like on Red Dead. Yes. You could hunt, you could skin animals, you could fucking sell all the stuff. You, you had slow bullet time. Slow bullet time. Like, all the stuff that Red Dead Redemption is great, they did in a fucking gun. I think Red Dead did better, though, on, like, you know, just the gambling. The little well, things. The little things. Yeah. I know, I'll admit, Red Dead Revolver, the story was fucking awesome. It was just fucking cool. Yeah. And they did a really good job with the... The... <laughs> you know the microphone's still on. Fucking, yeah. The fucking. <laughs> it felt like watching an old Clint Eastwood movie, dude. When the fucking levels would load, it was like this spaghetti western fucking style, like grainy fucking video yeah. and fucking just. It was just rugged. It was fucking awesome. <laughs> so I remember what, fucking drawing on motherfuckers. Da, 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 da. PS2. So, so with that note, fucking tell us what do you think is better, Gun or Red Dead, the original ones. Not the fucking... Gun and Red Dead Revolver? Yeah. Which would I prefer to be... Not you, again? fool the audience. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> They're really? going to agree with me. He's don't asking, worry. yeah, he's asking the audience, what do you so, prefer? Tell us what you prefer. If Only you if play you, both. If you if, play them both. <laughs> if you play them both. <laughs> and um, I swear to God, if you pick Gun, I will fucking go to your house. <laughs> <laughs> I miss fine. And um, I'll bring you a bouquet of flowers with some, like, fresh fruits. Listen okay. to our other podcast, the uh, No Quarters Required podcast, which I'm on there also, and we have a lot of great discussions. That's a much longer podcast. Sometimes we go into really, really long talks. Um, check out the new look of the site if you're listening to this from iTunes or if you're listening to it from uh, a podcast catcher or whatever. So check it out. Tell us what you think. And leave some comments, you know, the more feedback we start getting. We love getting feedback from our community. We try to answer back the questions that we the get. Arguing with people. Yeah. <laughs> Argue with people all day long. Be like, you're retarded. You're and a so, towel. You're a towel. You're a hooker. <laughs> you're a hooker. Listen, buddy. So, check us out. Tell us, leave us, um, if you hey, listen to us on iTunes, leave us a comment. You know, five stars is great, but you can rate us whatever you feel like, you know, so check us out, get back to us, follow us on Twitter, all that good stuff, blank your game, and no quarters required, we'll see you guys in two weeks. Two weeks.